Hello, 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 everybody. How's everybody doing? Jet writing Optimus Prime, know that I read your message and immediately got suddenly Seymour stuck in my head, which it's usually there, but. <laughs> um, how is everybody on this Sunday night? It is June 11th, which means it is night 11 of streaming all the way through. Why is my charity counter re uh, fundraiser readout not on? Uh, we are streaming all through the month of June in honor of whoops nope that's my that's my thumbnail for the thing that's not what I wanted <laughs> we're streaming all through June um in honor of pride month to benefit the trans housing coalition which here in Atlanta helps uh trans and non-binary individuals who are experiencing chronic homelessness uh into permanent housing um, and wraparound community support, and we really love that. So, that's what we're doing. There we go. All right. So, as you can see, we have raised $403 so far. Good for us. Everybody give a round of applause for us, <laughs> for the community. Um, I'm realizing that I look a little smaller tonight because the camera hasn't really been adjusted since Gabe was here, and Gabe is... A tall human <laughs> um, but uh, so we're going to be raising money all this month for that and tonight our game of the our thing of the night I should say our programming of the night is Nancy Drew dossier two, the second of only two that they made we're gonna see a advertisement at the end of this stream for uh at the end of the game for a third game that they never ended up making which i'm always i've always been very sad about um but these are the two dossier games um then we're going to get into then we've done all the ds games all the dossier games and then we'll get into the regular full-fledged nancy drew pc games like we played last year life finds a way <laughs> um so yeah that's what we're doing i hope everybody is excited i'm going to give whoop my caps lock is on that always scares me because it feels like i'm yelling at myself <laughs> um i just wanted to make sure that um, my playlist for this series is looking all right. I'm going to give everybody a couple minutes to get in. Hi, Chris. Um, I always feel bad starting right at the top just because I'm always late. So to be like, well, you were late. You technically missed the first big bit. Like, obviously, you can watch it back or rewind or whatever, but I always feel bad. All right, just making sure. Oh, look at that. Lovely. My playlist. So just like last year because i have a playlist for everything just like last year hi stephanie oh they made a ton of nancy drew games the ds games were made by a couple other companies that were not her interactive and her interactive is the company that made all of the regular nancy drew games and all the dossier games in fact they're going to finally release a 34th full pc game which we didn't think was going to happen uh so there will be uh as of right now there are 33 released and one unreleased uh, Nancy Drew full PC adventure game. There are two dossier games. There are four DS games made by other companies, uh, which we don't like as much personally. Uh, I don't know about you guys. And then there's, <laughs> and then there is um, a remastered version of the first full length adventure game that they made because it was a very very prototypical game for them. And so they remastered it on the sly and just kind of quietly replaced uh, the original with that one. Uh, but I have both, and we're going to play both, but I'm going to play the remastered uh, in the timeline when it came out. So, because the graphics are very different, and I like to see that natural progression when we play. Um, last year, last year's Nancy Drew playthrough uh, got its own playlist, and this year has one too. And we're doing the bonus DC, DS games, not DC games. That would make it a, uh, um, a that would be like a Batman game. <laughs> it was a DC game. Hey, yo. Hi, Patrick. I hope you're feeling better. 
Um, but yes, um, no, there's a lot of Nancy Drew games out there. It's kind of like when I tell people that they're still writing Nancy Drew books and how there's over 500 of them. And people are just like, wait a minute, there's that much? Yes, there is. There's a lot. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. Uh, let's get to the game. Well, actually, I'm not going to play. I'm going to let everybody come in and just chat for a second uh, while I eat my ice cream. <laughs> um, and then I'll play the I'll play the um, the music just because the music is going to get very repetitive if I just leave it on the home screen. The DS games are they were designed at like the height of Nancy Drew P PC game popularity to be kind of like appealing to the people that liked the idea of the Nancy Drew games, but just couldn't quite get through them, didn't have the time, didn't have the patience, didn't have the attention span. But the truth is, um, no one really want, that was kind of, in my opinion, for a market of people that didn't really exist or didn't really care because, well, they didn't do very popular. They didn't do very well. They weren't very popular. They scrapped the third one. They only made two of them. Um, Oh, yeah, they're still writing them. No, they are. They are still writing them. I loved them as a kid, but I had no idea they were still going. Yep, there are over 500 of them. There's different, like, branches and subsections and whatever. I collect them, and I've done some content reading the some of them and talking a little bit about them. I need to do more. Um, I want to do a project where I read, like, the whole gener one generation of them and then this generation of them because they're still going, and I'm a nerd. Um, um, yes, the DS games for Nancy Drew are quite a mixed bag. Um, I'll have to go watch those. Yes, I've done a lot of Nancy Drew content, I'm just realizing. Not only did I play through the Nancy Drew PS series last year, and I'm doing it in this year, uh, and it might be a tradition where we do it every single year now. Um, although I don't know that I'd replay the DS games, but that's just me. Um, we'll have to see <laughs> what I, how I feel in a year. Um... But I've done some live streams reading some of the Nancy Drew books, some of the Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys books where they cross over. Um, I've only read one Na Hardy Boys book, though. I should really get on that. Um, but like I was saying about the... P um, sorry, I'm very ADHD in case anybody didn't know. I think everybody knows. Um, if you are playing a Nancy Drew adventure game, it turns out not a whole lot of people wanted a scaled down version of the PC game that's a little bit more handholdy, which is what the dossier games are. They're still very fun and they have a very nice art style and I enjoy it a lot. They have good music, um, but they just, you know, they're fine games. They just weren't as popular as like the full-fledged adventure games, which everybody seemed to be used to, including me. So they just didn't do that well and they only made two of them. Um, hi, Thomas Connolly. The short-lived 1995 Nancy Drew TV series is available on YouTube. Interesting. I'll have to start covering that finally. Yes, there was a Nancy Drew and Hardy Boys TV show that I made four videos about a little while ago. I need to make more um, videos about that. There was a there were several movies, none of which I've covered yet. I also did videos, like edited regular videos, on the first two PC games in the main series because they're old and they're silly and... Um, I wasn't live streaming yet, so I couldn't imagine myself actually playing them, but here we go. Um, like playing them with you guys, but here we go. Uh, but yes, Nancy Drew is a very broad fandom. Um, I've been collecting the books since I was six years old, um, and I own a lot of them, but I don't even think I own half of them. Like, I have a whole shelf of Nancy Drew books stacked, like, two books deep and three books up because it's like uh, the the shelf that's supposed to be where the tv goes but i don't put my tv there um and i still don't even have half of them like there's so many um episodes of the 1995 series are based on, based on nancy drew case files yes yes that's the version from the 80s where nancy is um a college girl and she's very cool and she deals with more murder and romance and we love that for her. Um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna eat my ice cream before it melts further. But how is everybody doing? But she is not Blair in the show, no. But yes, 
Um, we're going to be playing this game, and I'm very excited. I literally used to just play all these games on repeat as a kid, so the ones that, the earlier ones, the ones that were out when I was, like, 10 are the ones that I'm best at, because I've played them so much. I've played all of them, really, a lot, except for, like, the newest two or three that came out post, um, college age for me. Not that I didn't care, but just because I just truly haven't lived enough time to play them as many times as I played the games that came out when I was a kid. Yeah, Lisa Welchel from The Facts of Life uh, modeled for Nancy Drew books in the 80s. So if, if she looks on the cover like Blair from Facts of Life, that's why. It's because she was. She was supposed to. Alright, let me fire up the old, the old game. Um, and I'll eat while we watch cutscenes. I think that would be a better idea. <laughs> Outrage. All right. Play that. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. No, you guys aren't seeing the intro. guys hang on I wanted to make sure you guys could see the intro switch switch to this one nope this one Oh, that's my problem. Okay. <laughs> you know when you, you solve your problem and you're like, oh, that's why. That's why it's a problem. So bear with one second. making sure that you guys are able to see. There we go. No, it won't let me. Ah, hang on. You would think after so long of streaming that I would know what I was talking about. But alas, here we are. Uh, sorry, guys. There we go. Hi, I'm down here in the corner. Give a hand out to uh, give a give a hand to um, to Gabe, who very valiantly just played uh, for the first time ever. And was just such a good sport about it. We love Gabe. An explosive situation has arisen at the Redondo, a secluded resort with a rich... Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. And I have ice cream all over my hands. Oh, the humanity. Sorry, guys. Um, shit. I'm just making sure, because that's a very new thing. Okay, you guys can't hear. Okay, you can't hear. Hi. Welcome. Let's try this again. 
go to be beautified and indulged in total privacy. Someone there has been planting bombs, and although so far they've done relatively little harm, and the manager of the resort has fooled people into thinking they're just construction accidents, I've been charged with finding out what's really going on. When she heard where I was going, my good friend George Fain insisted I bring along her latest invention, a handheld bomb sniffing device. It's never been tested in the field, but it's designed to detect components commonly used in detonators, and she's almost positive it will work. I'm not crazy about the almost part, but it's got to be better than nothing, right? And as my other good friend Bess Marvin was quick to point out, the thing practically fits in my purse. So now that I'm pretty much prepared for anything, looks like I'm off to the Redondo. Welcome to the Redondo. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Cassidy Jones. Mr. Blesky is waiting for you in there. You can go right in. On second thought, why don't you help me get organized around here? It'll help you get the hang of things. I can do that, sure. has arrived. What did I miss? Nothing. We were literally just starting. It was the Nancy was like explaining like there's been accidents at the Redondo and we're here to we're here to um, solve the case and that's it. We're we're just starting the tutorial now. We missed nothing. Important object. Move your cursor around the room. It sparkles. And the flowers are selected. You can pair them with another item. How the game works. So the DS games would have been smart to have more of this kind of style gameplay. Sorry, you have to look at my ugly screen, uh, home uh, desk screen. That should be a little bit better, but let's just try it. But we can technically still hear. Okay, I think I fixed it. Let's see if this works. Right. 
Is this any better? Am I speaking to you at a higher level than the game? So my dad and my sister were movies. We went to Barnes because I thought not enough. It's a notable improvement. Okay. Cool. Time and it flows at 10. So wrong. Flows to 8. So now oh no! Now I'm in the parking lot of the AMC, just standing and uh, just standing and waiting. Oh, I'm sorry. Not having anywhere to be. Oh, there we go. It's just a nerve-wracking feeling. I'm. I. I hope we can. We can keep you company digitally. <laughs> General assistant task list. Restock shelves. Oh, yes, we are undercover, so of course we have jobs to do. Restock shelves with product and remove the boxes. Dust the lights above the front desk. Don't use glass cleaner. Clean the harmonica display case. You'll need the glass cleaner. All right. There's the glass cleaner. Let's clean the glass. There's something in that harmonica. I wonder what it is. Well, let's try lifting it up. There we go. I'm going for the top tier of detective, guys. I need a screwdriver to open this harmonica. Right. Well, let's pull open this drawer. There we go. I wonder who this Hippocrates person is. Should something other than my should someone other than myself find this? My name is Hippocrates Bell. I have begun to renovate our family home and will store record of my modification with each area I improve so I can easily track my projects. That's this. This used to be some rich family's home. This place. Uh, so certain we were my parents uh, doctors Adrian and Scarlotta Bell that they were greeting a future physician when I entered the world in the spring of 1885 that they converted our large, comfortable home into a san sanitarium. They assumed that I would ultimately dedicate my life to the health sciences, and had they, but much to their chagrin, uh, I came to the process, I came to possess an aptitude for healing not people, but things. I reveal in this, I revel in dismantling objects and from them creating that which is new better, so strong is my passion for all things mechanical and architectural that my that rarely do I end one project before beginning two others. In that vein, my dear future Hippocrates, a reminder, do not forget that projects in the pill do not forget the projects in the pillars. I don't know that I've ever actually sat and read that all the way through, but there you go. Nail liqueur, also known as nail polish, I believe. There, and the nail stuff, nail polish. There, alright. Our little score counter down here is gonna tell me how well I'm doing. That's you! This light is dirty! Oh, my sinuses are awful right now. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Hope you have a better day tomorrow. Hope tomorrow is a better day than today was. When did this particular Nancy Drew game become a core memory for me out of all the Nancy Drew games? I don't know. This one's a weird one. Like, it's not a bad one by any means, but it's definitely... Like, there's... Like I was saying to Gabe yesterday, there's that a lot of characters that have model land energy. You know what I mean? 
All right, we scored 3,800 points and earned two hits. This is the detective ranking screen. You'll be taken here at the end of every chapter. The more points you get, the higher your ranking will be. If you obtain the highest ranking, you'll get to view special credits after you beat the game. Gabe unlocked his special credits, didn't he? Because he got all, he was like almost here. And we got like the fun credits, I think. Cassidy, do you know who Hippocrates Bell is? Ah, he would be the original owner of this place. Of course, back then, the Redondo wasn't a spa, it was a private mansion. I hear he was a bit eccentric. I see. Well, I finished that list you had for me. Great job. Our boss awaits through that door. No, forget it. Look, Princess Mia, those are our rates. If you think they're too high, then frankly, maybe you'd be happier slipping into a nice hot mud bath somewhere else. I feel like Princess Mia Hello? was 100% a reference to Princess Diaries. Because you have to remember- Nancy Drew, good. You know why you're here, right? Of course. You want me to- Click on the right answer to keep the conversation going. You'll get more points if you choose correctly on the first try. To pause a conversation, just click on the menu button at the bottom of the screen to skip to the next, okay. You want me to investigate the bombings? Of course, you want me to investigate the bombings. Shh, do not use that word. You're here to Aww, investigate the construction my, my, um, accidents. My Our guests hear YouTube construction, they shrug you. it off. They hear that other word, they get upset. These people are millionaires who come here to get pampered not upset. The, that any, the good news uh, is, with that hair of yours, those clothes, that makeup, know, right? you'll fit right in. You really think so? Yeah. Everybody's gonna assume you're the new gopher. You know, go for this, go for that. The new oh, general know. assistant. Oh. No, that's good. That way no one will suspect you're really a detective who's an expert at defusing bombs. Uh, I'm not sure who told you that, but... Of course, that also means you can't go around bothering people. And if somebody asks you to do something, you're gonna have to do it. No questions asked. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Blesky, but I'm afraid I've got some towels that need folding. Oh, great. Another one. Well, you got here just in time. Would you like me to... See if any movie stars are around. Would you like me to help fold towels? Folding towels is a code. It means someone's found I'm a note saying where uh, that sounds like the voice been actor hidden voices and turned it into reception. In Shoot, look, I've got to take this call. Go on back out there. Cassidy will explain everything and get you started. Go on. But Go. no, you said Princess Mia. Nick I'm, I'm convinced that that was a reference to Princess See, Diaries. See, each bomb has been preceded by a note. The very first note said that it contained the location of the bomb the that was about to go off. Unfortunately, the rest of that note and each of the other the notes that followed was in some kind of totally likely. indecipherable code. However, I'm sure you, detective that you are, will be able to decipher it, determine where the bomb is, and defuse it before it goes off with no problem. Well, I can sure try, but... Fortunately, the bombs aren't lethal. Truly annoying, yes, but truly dangerous, no. Apparently our mad bomber just wants to torment us. Here's a map so you can find your way around the spa. All right. And here's the note. Decipher it and you'll be on your way. game your goal is to move the pieces so that they form complete letters all right these are the letters that are gonna be unscrambled we need to get uh, you can't do it that way you can move that way um, yes they want me to try to make sure I understand so we scram we unscramble the letter we match the letters they go into the little meters here and when they're all full we're done with the game Bonus. I love when I get bonus one. 
Yes, I see the gauge. I, it's not the game's fault. I've played this a lot. So when you played these games a lot, the tutorial sequences that you can't skip start to become very annoying. It's not its fault. It's doing what it's supposed to do. All right, we've got all the S's. I don't need a hit button. I am a genius. And also, this is the first round, and it's pretty easy. Yep, and if you have no matches, there's a scramble. Limited number of times to use in the round. All right, we got our eyes. Uh, N, E's, good for us. We just need N's and B's, which sometimes you have to match things that you already have enough of to get everything to kind of move correctly. But there's the B. Just need a couple more ends. There we go. All right. I hang out in the tropics. Vines. Vines. Wonder what that means. Monolay Maybe I should look here. at the resort. That's map. what I thought you meant, but I, for a second I was racking my brain, being like, "Did I miss something?" <laughs> Hi, Texas. Keep losing power due to the storm, so... Oh, I'm sorry, Texas. No, I didn't watch the movie, but... Um, I'm pretty sure this isn't how threats work. No, no, but you know what? It's fine. This is fine. In Nancy Drew's world, this is how it works. Okay, so we go where the vines hang out, so we're supposed to know to go to the right server room. Right there. That's and for knowing the next on the bomb first guess, be. I get an extra 100 points. All right. 5,050 points plus 200 bonus points and two hits. Um, chapter score conversation cues. And then I got that 4,700. Wow. I got that much of a bonus for the nice for the mini game. Cool. That's where I am, on the Amateur Detective. I hear someone. Who's there? This Mr. character Mingles, has very Is that already. you? Speak. Uh, no. I'm Nancy, the new... I'm the new general assistant, and you are... Call me Mrs. Montague. Now, quickly, scratch the left side of my nose before I go absolutely insane. Hurry. Ah, uh, the glamorous life of Nancy. Ah, Halloween wonderful. Too. Now get me a cup of lime sherbet, two scoops with a sprinkling of citron zest and one cinnamon stick, and a spoon, of course. Silver, not plastic. And don't plan on going anywhere for a while. As you can see, you're going to be the one operating the spoon. Actually, I kind of need to do something else right now. Do something else? Really? Like what? Get fired like the last alleged assistant Blesky sicked on me? Keep this up and that can easily be arranged. Lime sherbet, did you say? On second thought, forget the sherbet. I'm chilled enough as it is. The hot water for this bath doesn't seem to be working. Find out why and fix it before my gloriously flawless skin becomes a hideous landscape of goosebumps. Citron zeal? The fuck? Oh yeah. Okay, if you can reveal the location of the object you need to use, you click on the item indicator button here. This bath has become unacceptably tepid. You simply must turn up the heat. Okay, there's only one thing I have to find. Is this. Alright, there's a button. Let's just press the random button. See what happens. Alright, we opened up a panel. So let's turn up the heat. Oh, it was literally just... We just have to turn it. Ah, the mud I is thought it was going to be like a whole like, much thing. Much better. Before I got in the tub, I noticed that a plant over there was dying. Please do something about it. The poor thing's struggle to live is draining the energy from this room in a most unpleasant way. Okay. I have water. I have... 
watering can and the plant. So I assume I pair the can with the water and then I pair it with the plant. Ah, you've revived the plant. I can tell. I can feel that energy returning to the room already. I think Please, if I keep on a roll, check the then I can Tinseltown Tattler and give me the gist of Lydia Lynn's column. That Lydia woman Lynn is, is so the deliciously colonist from the last game. Oh, I'm sorry, Ellery. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Genuinely, if it's annoying to you, stepping away is fine. Because uh, genuinely, she is fucking annoying. The door isn't locked. Pull it open. Hmm. Lydia's column suggests that Jasmine Ivy came to the Redondo for That's a little plastic fine. surgery. I suspected as much myself. Not that there's anything wrong with a judicious touch-up now and then. Uh, brew like me a cup of my oh, special yeah. anti-aging tea and brew it correctly, or you'll soon find yourself filing for unemployment. Guys, we're just all gonna bitch about this character because she deserves it. Famous face gets age-related alterations? It seems that a certain so-called serious actress, at least as serious an actress as you can be when your name is a cutesy combination of a fragrant flower and a weed-like vine, has just gotten a little elective pruning done at the insanely exclusive Redondo Center for Rejuvenation. Since this is not her first visit to the center, we are left wondering, was a, a therapeutic nip this time, or preventative tuck, or bolt? Doesn't matter. If only she would put an end to all this dreary speculation by fessing up. After all, these days even luxury cars sport a certain amount of plastic under the hood. But really, plant lady, if the truth is something that simply refuses roll, to roll trippingly off your tongue, Please do not try to tell us you're staying at the center for some much needed rest and relaxation. That's what hot tubs are for. Lydia Lynn, I hate her. We never meet her, but I hate her. Ew, Natty. God, Natty's day is getting worse. Did he brew tea incorrectly? You'd be surprised, Natty. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. Tea making instructions. Our special blend of dried, hand crumbled leaves can be found in the refrigerator. The leaves must not be exposed to water before they have been encased in a strainer. The strainer must be placed in a suitable teapot. The resulting tea must be poured into a teacup and promptly served. Um, there's nothing more relaxing for a guest than imbibing in steaming cup of wonderful aromatic naturally healing redondo a uh, helpful redondo tea Prote process guarantees a state of exquisite tranquility in it to its lucky recipient All right, well here's the fridge pull the door open here are the leaves there's the strainer, there's the cup, there's the teapot. Two more things I need to find. Oh, that's her. I bet she likes some tea. A hot water dispenser. Not me just wanting to give her rain rainfall water, or little waterfall water. Okay, so, leaves in strainer. Water in pot? I might think that might be wrong. Oh, shoot. Water. 
strainer in pot. Water in pot. There we go. Pot. Tea in cup. Cup in person. Done with the tea. Very good. It should have okay, been done by asleep. now. The movie, not the cup. I didn't know my day could get worse, but here I am. Have I ever told the story? Thanks for the clarification. Have I ever told the story of how I saw two people getting busy in the bathroom at Dragon Con after throwing up <laughs> after giving blood? Because that happened to me. Oh, it's here somewhere. Emergency override. I'm sorry, what? This All right, promising. so while I solve this mini game, I'm gonna tell this story, and I'm so sorry in advance. Oh, this is that puzzle. Gotta make a clear line. Okay, so. I was at Dragon Con. Dragon Con was very busy. I gave blood on the first night of Dragon Con. Uh, because there isn't a whole lot that goes down on the first night, and I really, really wanted to help be helpful and give blood. So I did. Um, and, you know, it was fine. I'd never given blood before, so I was a little bit lightheaded, but after that, I was just walking around with my friend. We were kind of walking like an old couple at the mall, and I was feeling really lightheaded. I thought I was going to throw up. Oh no, oh no, um, plan B, plan B. Um, I thought I was gonna be sick, so I sat down on a bench, I promptly threw up in a very, very, oh god, what do I do? Um, very expensive looking lobby. There we go. No construction accidents here. And as I'm apologizing, I'm like Looks apologizing like some green to everybody. Goo is They're dripping like, out of that fine, bomb. You're fine. They're like helping me. They're like I guess that explains like the sticky juice. situation the mad bomb is referred lay down. to. And so after that, I'm like, I really need to go wash up. So, Mr. Mingles, so are you there? Wash up. Mr. Mingles, I insist you drop whatever it is you're doing and answer me. Speak. Um, there's nobody here but me, Mrs. Montague. Well, then, don't just stand there. Find Mr. Mingles. Look in the salon. He's hopelessly attracted to the smell of hair. He likes the smell of hair? Huh. Just make sure he doesn't have any in his mouth before you grab him or he might swallow it. Uh, is Mr. Mingles by any chance... Your husband? No. Is Mr. Mingles a dog? Of course he's a dog, you ninny. An award-winning, impossibly adorable Pomeranian. Oh. Now find him. Go. Oh shoot, my screen is gone. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. I forgot that the camera had gotten unplugged earlier today. I'm back. Ginny is an old insult. Ellery, what? Uh, yeah, so let me finish the, um, um, so I'm like, I just have to walk up. The place. I've had a terrible, like, ex hour. Um, I go into the bathroom and there's just, in one of the stalls, just clearly two people getting very busy and they either did not know or did not care that I was there. So I'm just over there like, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not hearing anything. I'm just washing my hands. I'm just washing my hands. And then I went back and told everybody, and everybody was like, You stayed in there to wash your hands? I'm like, Yes! I had just thrown up! <laughs> Did I ever mention the time I was on a first date where I didn't know it was a date until I tried to, until he tried to kiss me during the previews, and then another couple got X-rated next to us during Wally? <laughs> What a twist at the end. <laughs> a tip needed to do a sick dude. Wild matinee showing of a movie. Oh my 
my gosh. Huh. Oh. Jesus, that sounds terrible. I've been on a date that I didn't know it was a date either. Apparently, I'm just... Apparently, it's more common than you think. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? The barking is coming from behind this door. I just need to figure out how to open it. It's probably one of Hippocrates' contraptions. Mm -hmm. March 5th, 1925. Modifications complete. The pillar is the key. All I right. love this whole vintage thing the Redondo's got going for it. Don't you? Yes, the vintage look All is right, very so we're going to match right the rope really? to the knot. The rain, the cloud is to the rain. That's a joke. No, it's the not. feather to the bird. The leaf to the tree. The star I wonder the why they don't get rid of the candy I wonder here. what this it tube is. So old. Get with it. Old is the new new. And I like how they're like, I love the vintage vibe, but why don't they get rid of all the old showing. stuff? Place March 5th, 1925, I was quite nervous that someone might use the, the dumbwaiter to the dining room without my knowledge, so I have created a security system to access words, it. Light up the stained glass panels around the ceiling. I take back do so. Remark, do the drain will provide a key. The pantry shelf needs exactly 15 ounces. Um, tug on blue, yellow, purple, orange. And... Unriddle the pillars. Okay. Okay, there seems to be stuck in something stuck there. Is there are tweezers? Yep, tweezers over here. And then that thing, I don't know how that got stuck in there, but that is from the chandelier. Alright, we got one thing on. Mosaic is missing a tile. This mosaic is missing a different tile, and this mosaic is missing a different, different tile. Is red with passion but doesn't bleed is a sweet bouquet hides stones within. That's cherries. Can be broken but won't shatter. That's a heart. Has a stem but never grows. So it goes this. It goes wine, cherries. Uh, oh, no, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. I'll come back to it later. It's red with passion but doesn't bleed. It goes this, 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 and this. It has a stem but doesn't grow with the glass. A tile of some sort. I don't know which tile is which. I guess not that one. Cheese and moon. Mice would not care for this dusty fare. Is sometimes blue and tasty too. Pile of some sort. All right. Got a third one on. No one seems to notice. Need a key. Six more things need to be found. Tug on blue, yellow, purple, orange. Blue, yellow, purple, orange. Looks more pink to purple than me, but you know. It's Need a key. Oh, we don't need to. Wait, sorry, we don't need a key for this. Something in the drain. I need to pick up the cover. Right, we'll lift the cover. Has arrived. Yay, Natty! My favorite story to tell is my younger siblings when they have a date go wrong. Oh, that's great. hours and seven minutes it should be done i'm glad your family has arrived that was like 15 yeah that's wild this looks like the shelf hippocrates bell mentioned in his note hmm i bet i could use these bottles even though some of them aren't completely full all right 
So we need to get to 15. This one's a half open 16 ounce, which means it's eight ounces. Oh, that's half an ounce. It's four and a half. Eight. That's eight, we need to get to 15, so... Four. It's one. It should also be one, and then these are both halves. <laughs> All right. I think there's multiple ways to solve that puzzle. You know, maybe those colored lights are coming on by accident. <laughs> maybe there's a short circuit somewhere. Maybe sure, that dreadful just dog ignore is Nancy. Chewing on the wiring. More likely, it's dreadful Ona is chewing on the wiring. Good one. High five, dear. Five, dear. My sister liked the film my dad did it. Cool. I guess not so cool for dad. Sorry, dad. What am I missing? There's one more thing I need. Alright, I need the tile for here. Where is it? Shush, I hear you. disgusting this closet looks like you got this beautiful place and then there's like stuff dripping from the walls okay seriously yeah sure I can't I can't find it but I look okay I looked at that <laughs> Keys that open no locks. Has teeth but cannot chew. Can run but has no legs. Be the piano, the key, and the clock in that order. Alright. Hey, the dog! We found the dog! There you are, you naughty, naughty boy. Give mommy a kiss so she can forgive you. That's a good Mr. Mingles. When I got out of the tub and I saw that disgusting green gooey mess you left behind, I assumed you were incompetent, so I went looking for him too. I'm a firm believer that if you want something done right, nine times out of ten you must do it yourself. Stop asking me to do stuff. Speaking of the green gooey mess that came out of the... That green mess that came out of the shower head. I hope you didn't throw it away. Me pick something up with my hand and deposit it in a garbage receptacle? As it happened, Helfton popped in for a brief eyebrow consultation. Hi, and when I showed him the goo, he scraped it up and took it with him to his lab. Okay. Helfton? Oh, you mean the... Starbucks after that date and we talked about how we both were incorrect uh, incorrectly absolved of being in the plan for shoving two of our friends into the local pond the week before. Oh, that's funny. Oh, you mean the Biochemist. You mean Helfton the biochemist? Yes, Helfton Helgeson, the person who creates all the beauty products used and sold here at the Redondo. I've been using his Rejuvenator series for years. As you can see, the man is a genius. Can you tell me where his lab is? In the basement. His name's on the door. Bravo for you, by the way. What do you mean? I'm assuming you want to know where his lab is so you can drop by for a consultation on your 
to everything. Fuck you. But when you do, pack a lunch, dear. You could be a while. Ugh. She has Cassandra from that one episode of Doctor Who energy. I'm gonna move just because I can see. I know this is cutting off. Let me just move. Oh no, that's the wrong thing. Ah! Let's move some things around. Let's put the bar down here. No, because then you guys aren't gonna be able to see the. Alright. I guess we're just gonna leave it, it's fine. The main reason we're here is for charity, so we can deal with it. It's so funny because it's our idea, we just suggested it to some other people and stood back. <laughs> we took no blame, despite the accusations from the people who did it. It was a great time. Oh, that's funny. We have achieved full amateur detective ranking. We are now a little more than a third of the way through Rookie Investigator. All right. Time to move on. Go into the laboratory. Mr. Helgeson? Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, my, you are here. After all these years of waiting and hoping I love the way he and runs begging, out of the you are finally box. here. <laughs> uh, just so we're on the same page, my name's Nancy Drew. I do not care if your name is Hilde von Potterschnacht. All that is important is that at last Blesky he sends me an assistant. <laughs> How do you know I'm not a new guest? Uh, please, no yokes. There is no time. I am very busy, and there is much to be done. Here, I need you Ouch. to make Everybody's these solutions so according to, to these instructions. Can I ask you something first? You can ask me something second. First, you must make the solutions. Go, go. All right, all right. All right, it's this mini game. We're matching colors by rotating things. Can I just skip? I know how to do this. Okay, so we want to... Should do tutorial. it. Alright, now we gotta make all of these solutions. All these patterns. We're just doing the same thing. Alright, let's see. We got a blue here, and it doesn't matter what colors we get there as long as it is a matching color. Just in case you might have the game playing along and are wondering. Or if you play the game in the future. Uh, hopefully you find a better tutorial than my live stream because it's probably not gonna be that helpful to you, but you know. Oh no! No! I hate when that happens. Okay. not what I wanted. Okay. Well, let's just shake things up. Let's just get some of this out of there. Orange and orange. Blue and blue. If I can just get that. Hmm. I think 
Yuki. I'm just gonna switch this up. And again. No, this isn't that complicated. I'm just making it complicated. Okay. school was my theater kid villain arc. Oh boy, I bet. I can imagine. It's kind of everybody's villain arc. Well, everybody that's fun to be around nowadays, I guess. Why does the scientist look like Mr. Clean cosplaying both Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? What a great burn. That might be my new favorite cartoon character burn I've ever heard. And it's 100% accurate. I would have preferred if he looked like David Hasselhoff's um, Jekyll and Hyde, though, so points off for that. There we go. There's that, so now I just have to worry about this. Ah, there we go. Okay, I got it. All right. All right, now we just do this one. Matches right off the bat. Not that I can see. That might be too easy. What I like about the Nancy Drew games is they're challenging enough that they're still fun as adult, playing it as an adult. And I'm pretty sure most of the fan base is my age, roughly. So that's fun. Did I have a match and miss it? Oh well. Um, let's see. Yellow can go here. Hmm. Let's make another match to get some of that. Okay, there we go. Got it. That should do it. That if you can't see a match, you have done a very just start good job. I am grateful. So, ask me a question. Hi, Lump. I assume it concerns your hair? Oh, my. Or is it your skin? It concerns the green goo you found in the That's jungle fun. room. I'm pretty sure it was meant to. Stay safe, sad lump. Bad for missing. Yeah, don't feel bad for missing streams. Don't don't feel bad about that at all. The streams 
the content on the channel is always here for you guys, uh, not the other way around. We appreciate when you're here to support the stream, but, you know, never feel obligated. I'm pretty sure it was meant to explode. Mr. Blesky told me about the, you know, construction accidents. As a matter of fact, when Mrs. Montague called my attention to it, I suspected it was some kind of explosive. So I carefully removed it and brought it here so I could analyze it. <laughs> However, I found it to be Am useless. I old? Who is traveling That back? is to say, I don't think I know I'm this curious. Human being. An attempt to create a gel bomb that failed miserably. It was never in any danger of exploding? Never. And now I must get back to work. Assistant Drew, towels need to be folded in reception. I repeat, Assistant Drew, you are to go to reception and fold towels immediately. Hmm, sounds like we must both get back to work, yeah? <laughs> Got another note for you. Here's a sweet concoction I've cooked up for you. I love how they're just so casually casual about like letting this teenager deal with well, that's not what I want to do. Deal with what could be deadly explosives. Okay, so now there's when there's stuff when I get the light bulb. I get it, I get it. Oh, and these are block spaces, you can't switch with them. All the eyes. Switch that H. All right, those are shuffle pieces. So every time I get one of those, I get another shuffle. A lot of bonus stuff this time. Watch, I won't need it for this one, but next time I will, and they won't carry over. that one nice i'm playing for i'm playing for the the bonuses not even for the game salt the puzzle solving but you know we'll get there no i don't need a w i have the w the h and the i common link between a polar bear and coconut meat. Coconut meat is an odd example, but you know, it's it's the color white. White? Now what part of the spa would that refer to? I missed something in chat. Hang on. This is Fraggle Rock. Oh, it's Jim Henson. Wait. I know Fraggle Rock. Hang on. 
and play games all day. Sorry, I'm apparently not as cultured as I thought I was. Oh, the Fraggle! Okay, sorry, I... Okay. Sorry, several things just clicked together in my head. I thought... Oh yeah, we're going to the uh -huh. ivory room. That's I'll why the that's the place the clue refers to. I thought you were talking about some YouTuber that I did not know about. I was very confused. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Moving on. Finally! I've been waiting to receive my facial series for at least five minutes! <gasps> Please, begin at once. Sorry, I'm actually here to find something. Excuse me? Are you telling me to wait even longer? I'm going to report this straight to management. Well, I suppose I could put off my other task for a moment. Thank you. You and me both. Yeah, my brain wasn't clicking that we were talking about Fraggle Rock. For some reason, my brain jumped to that must be the u the username, like the the channel name of a u of a YouTuber, uh, like a YouTuber name that I just wasn't familiar with, and I was very confused. Traveling Matt would be an interesting vlogger, actually. Vlogger. True. Yeah, I was super confused. I was trying to picture what kind of human didn't know what T was, and I was very confused. Sorry. But you're making me do it wrong. Reset. Yeah, they want me to do yellow. I know why they do this, it's for like hydration and stuff, but it always, whenever I saw it happen, I always am like, it feels like a waste of perfectly good fruit. I want to eat it, not wear it. Oh, so my green blanket that I've been crocheting on stream is officially done. Uh, it's a little wonky. It's the first thing I ever made, so it's, it's a little, a little wonky, but it is a perfectly usable blanket, and I'm actually very proud of how it came out for a first try. There we go. So these are facials that this one person is getting in succession, like in rapid succession. I thought the whole thing about a facial, and I'm no like skincare expert, but I thought the thing about the facial was like, oh, my skin is dry, speaking of which. I'm at the age where I'm like starting to worry about like forehead wrinkles. It's like, ah, but um, I'm no expert, but I always thought the point of the facial was to put the stuff on your face and oh my, and leave it there. So we're gonna cover the nose because the nose is gonna have nothing on it. Serve that with that. Blue. And then equal amounts of whatever this is on the cheeks. There we go. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do brown, and then cover the eye, and then do yellow, and then cover this half of the face and do Another layer of brown. There we go. Cool. That should do it. Oh, I feel so rejuvenated. Thank you. Oh, that was weird timing. We both said thank you at the same time. I wonder if this is from the bomber. Hang on. I don't know why I'm locked in to my game. Uh, thank you for whoever. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, we have a donation. Yay. Um, Cherchenko. Uh, Cherchenko is the number one. Who just donated, though? Wait. Why can't I see? Um, 
dollar store Henry Bollet. Thank you. <laughs> I believe that was Ellery, but thank you, dollar store Henry Bollet. <laughs> you guys are amazing. No, we have not finished the game. Sorry, my cursor is locked in when I'm um, when I'm playing the game for some reason. I need to ask Spencer why that would be. Uh, so I can't get to the second monitor. So I was just minimizing it so I could see who donated and say thank you. Thank you for donating to the Trans Housing Coalition. It means a lot. Uh, for those who I'm sure everybody here knows, but the Trans Housing Coalition is. Um, an organization, a grassroots organization here in Atlanta that helps trans and non-binary individuals experiencing chronic homelessness into permanent housing and wraparound community support. So, something we very much, very much love here. That was me. Thank you, Ellery. That's a huge, huge, huge thing. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, we're raising money all this month for them. Jasmine, though it's what you do best, I will not be ignored. I figure out where that oh. bomb is. No, we are not done with the game. Apologies, I had to minimize for a second. Oh, the bomb is the here. The bomb is in the sensory deprivation unit. I need to get it open. I want to go into a sensory depri deprivation unit. Drain pod, refill pod, refill salt reservoir, turn on UV cycle. Okay, we've got a bunch of things that we need to find. It's missing the UV bulb. This must be to empty the pod. Let's turn it. <laughs> Salt reservoir, some salt goes there. This is where the fresh water is introduced to the pod. Pull this open. Close for refilling the pod. Oh. Oh, I'm just not supposed to do that yet, I guess. Sorry. Okay, but drain the pod was first, so... What? Turn on the water. What? Oh! Oh, I see. Turn this. Okay, sorry, that was... Oh, and now we turn... Okay, I got you, game. I'm aware. Turn it on. There we go. Could have better that time, but you know what? Did my best. Hello, people joining us. It is day 11 of raising money for the Trans Housing Coalition. You know, we've got some things that we need to get around. Um, we just got a. Um, very generous donation from Ellery, Knight of the Bot Table, also known as <laughs> Dollar Store Henry Bollet. That's what we're calling the guy at the front desk. In this Where? Oh, no construction accidents money. here. This bomb is full yeah, of yeah. pie filling. That sure would have made a mess. You're here already! 
I'm sorry. When I'm on the set, I never miss a call. And when I'm on the stage, I never miss a cue. Yet for some reason, when it comes to real life, I seem to be late for everything. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, 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 time to vent. Yeah, no koi. Oh my gosh, well, you're Jasmine actually, Ivy, don't know the that actress. Not, but yes, no, it was I know from that. a boss. Now, who are you? Okay. And what happened to my regular masseuse? I'm sorry. My name's Nancy Drew. The new general assistant, right. What are you doing in here? Jasmine Ivy. Oh, just a little preventative maintenance. I just found this note. It sounds kind of... Poetic, romantic, depressing, or threatening? It sounds threatening. Oh. It's not really options. that threatening. Probably just a prank, so why don't I keep it? That way you don't have to give it another thought. Have you gotten any other notes like this? Not that I recall. Listen, I keep hearing this weird hissing and clicking sound in my room. It sounds kind of like a snake. And I hate snakes. So be a good assistant and fix whatever's making the noise, would you please? Right now? Okay, bless you. Bye now. Ugh. All right, so we're going to the guest suites. Time to move on. Time to move on indeed. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we're, at, we're up to 43,709 points overall. Almost done with Rookie Investigator. All right, we need your password. Each disc must go in its proper place. Okay, Octopus has eight legs that goes there. There are seven wonders of the world. Freezing temperature is zero Celsius. Gemini is the sign of twins, so it's two. Unicorn is Star has five points. Decade has ten years. Clover has four. There. Nice. All right. There's a button. Yes, Nancy is also the queen. We were talking about what Nancy's the queen of. She's also the queen of just pressing random Jasmine buttons. Jasmine seems to have all of her passwords and security codes on her phone. Oh, good. So I can just match this with Whoa. everything. Jasmine Ivy is Ida Brooks' sister. Ida Brooks is the the actress from the last game. Sweetie, I know you and Ida don't always get along, and you had a few issues with her recent work in Pharaoh. But you're the big sister here, and hence the mature one. Oh, oh. all the big sisters are just rolling their eyes. Ida's birthday is coming up, so why don't you send her some flowers? Her favorite florist is Bloom Kaboom. And the number is 310-555-BOOM-MOM. <laughs> Replying to, Pharaoh wasn't that bad. <laughs> Looks like she's reading the tabloids about herself. That's probably ill-advised for mental health reasons. There's the safe. Let's use her. Jasmine seems to be collecting and cataloging all of these threats. I wonder why. Ooh. You don't deserve to be in the movies. Pretty people like you should watch themselves. The bombs are made meant for you. I will not be ignored. This just seems like I should um, report back to Mr. Blesky. Seems unhealthy, not necessarily suspicious. 45,109 points. Also, the thought of having a live octopus over your bed? I know, right? Terrifying. Octopi are so smart, I would feel terrified it might escape and try to strangle me for holding it in an aquarium. We're keeping it in an aquarium. Same. I love octopi. Well, but I don't are you getting trust anywhere? Them. <laughs> I met Jasmine Ivy. And I found out that she... Oh, yep, stalker. Sometimes they're animated, sometimes they're not. Yeah, it depends, yeah. It's not actually Ida Brooks. 
I found out Jasmine has been getting threats. Threats, Schmetz. She's a celebrity. Stuff like that goes with the territory. That's a what toxic about Mrs. attitude. Montague? Well, I managed to... Find her Dawson. I managed to stop a bomb from covering her with goo. Good, because beneath all the designer labels and bodywork, she's not a bad person. Spent the first half of her life turning a nothing digital components company into a billion dollar business. And now she's spending that. the second half giving That's away the proceeds to charity. Oh. Actually, according to Helfton Helgeson, the bomb in the jungle room. Guess she gives away to charity? That's good, I guess. It was a dud. According to Helfton, the bomb in the jungle room was a dud. He said it was poorly made and would never have exploded. But all the other bombs exploded. Why wouldn't that one? That doesn't make sense. Unless Helfton lied to you about the bomb. Look, I just saw him leave for his daily walk. Go snoop around in his lab. See if he's up to something. All right, back to the laboratory we go. On to my next location. So fun fact, this game is quite a bit like Clue, where there are different endings where any one of the six bad guys could be it. And depending on that, there are actually different levels that you get at different parts of the game. So it's really interesting. You can play it multiple times and have different experiences. Oh, come on, we're so close to being done, close to being done with Rookie Investigator. All right. Sorry, I keep hitting my microphone. Apologies. It's nice to hear Lonnie Manella's voice again. I actually really enjoy uh, the new voice actress. I like her a lot. Allegedly, Lonnie Manella was uh, causing some... Allegedly causing some problems behind the scenes, so... Nobody working there really misses her, but yes, she is quintessentially the voice of Nancy Drew. Related to the image. Dear Helfton, I have packed your favorite lunch of macaroni and cheese. Hope that your super secret plan to finally get the respect you deserve works out. Have a nice day, love mom. Oh. I want macaroni and cheese. I think there's a little macaroni and cheese spilled onto a sandwich in a baggie. The test tubes must be put in their place, then the fourth one is the key. He left a note to himself? Okay. Oh no, that's a note from the previous owner that he found, okay. Clean an empty Petri dish. Beaker. going to be a puzzle of some kind. What a mom note, yes. I think you'd like the Nancy Drew be a detective books. They are choose your own adventure books with different endings. I would like those. I don't have any of those in my collection, uh, but I will keep a lookout. I was on eBay and uh, one of my favorite secondhand book buying places shout out secondhand uh second sale books on uh I, I bought a good number of their books on ebay uh, not sponsored but i just that's just where i've gotten a lot of the books that i have in my collection and um place the test tubes in the correct order using the color above oh i see i see i thought okay um I went on and they were running a sale, and so I was able to uh, get some more few new Nancy Drew books. And I was really excited about it. That should do it. Now I just need to pick the right key. That's not right. This must be the right key. All right. I don't know how I'm supposed to know that, but there we go. It's locked. Hose connecting to the gas outlet. Start the burner. Okay. Woo! Something lit up right over here. 
Oh, I need to melt the key out. Okay. And then use it. Lot. Filing cabinet. All right. To create compound X, add the following to a flask of red fluid. Five ounces of gray powder, 500 milliliters of blue fluid, 100 milliliters of purple fluid. This doesn't feel like how chemists work, but all right. Pour entire contents into a flask into a petri petri dish. Petri dish, petri dish. I don't know. Uh, to solidify. All right, there's a scale. Shake the jacket. A faucet valve, huh? Four more things I need to find. Get fluid out of this. Purple fluid, 500 milliliters of blue. Okay. There we go. All right. It's lighting up in this area. Oh no, that. That right now. There's faucet. Now there is. stuff in the flask. I'm trying to follow the instructions. Gray powder. That's the purple fluid. Purple fluid in there. Alright, and now we just need the gray powder. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. Let's weigh it. Alright, it just so happens to be the right amount that we need. So. Or no, I guess she measured it out. That's okay. But the gray powder. Now what? We pour it into the petri dish. What is Helfton making? I better figure it out. Telling people to mix real chemicals. Oh, for sure. For sure. But it is funny to be like, the purple fluid. Y let's just use the hit it with a hammer method. The Club Penguin books I sent are like that too. Yes, we have to read those at some point. Um, do the thing, then add the thing, and they should get the thing. Yes. Nancy's life in a nutshell. That's what she'll call her biography. Autobiography. She wouldn't let anybody else read, write that for her. Okay, so now we're just doing another version of this puzzle. Uh, some people, uh, you, as far as like adventure game homies, you know, people are really divided over like that didn't help me at all. Oh well. Um. um People are really divided over mini games. I personally like the mini games as long as they're interesting. Um, some people really don't like them because they don't really, people are like, oh, well, they're not really that much of a challenge. I think they are, they're just a different challenge. They're just a different vibe. Some people like them, some people don't. You know, you know how people work. I need to get that orange one to land here. Okay, oh, so I can match it with these. Well, match it with, that's as good as the other it's orange. So here's the yellow, we can match those. And now we just have to get this figured out. Let's see if I can't get a blue to land there since these are also both blue. 
What? Oh no, oh well. Okay, well, we still have blues, so let's just keep trying. Oh. We're not? Okay. Um, oh, we can do yellow. We're just as good. Well, it's a match. That's it! And it was a double match. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why it still gives me these like I need them right now. I can, I can do green. I was gonna try to mess with them, but we just have a green. We can just do that. Oh no, 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 no. Aw, oh, shit. I was like, oh, we could do orange, and then it also matched itself, and then no, no more orange. Let's see. Um, this is the part where I talk to myself, trying to figure out what I'm doing. Judas Studio Ghibli Fat featuring Studio Ghibli movie. Um, I want to. I'm a little bit cautious because Ghibli does not like people talking about their stuff at all. That doesn't mean that I won't cover it. It just probably won't happen this month because, you know, it's just gonna take some time to figure out how to deal with that. Um, and yes, Kiki's Delivery Service and uh, my, neighbor to my Neighbor Totoro, though I haven't seen Totoro all the way through, they're great. It fully depends on the minigame, that's correct. Uh, that I hate in adventure games, which for some reason is a staple in adventure games. Randomized mazes viewed in first person with a time limit and or death tra uh, death traps. Yep, those get pretty annoying. It's kind of like puzzles, you know? There's good puzzles and there's bad puzzles, and my opinion on what's a good and bad puzzle is vastly different from other people's. But, like, personally, I like puzzles- shit. I like puzzles that are hard, but interesting. I like puzzles that are intuitive, like, it, they have to be hard, but still intuitive. Um, when puzzles are seemingly hard for the sake of being difficult, I find that kind of lazy, and I don't love that. Feels like they just, instead of designing a really good puzzle, they were just kind of like, oh, we'll just make it harder. Uh, we'll take a mediocre puzzle and make it harder, uh, which does not make it a good puzzle, in my opinion. So it just depends. Um, and it's interesting because, like, if you go through, like, Nancy Drew fan forums, you'll notice very quickly that no one agrees on what games are the best, what games are the worst. Um, I've truly never seen a game fandom with where you have, like, the top ten best and worst lists, and everybody's lists are so wildly different. The only things that everybody can agree on are that Ransom of the Seven Chips is just the worst game. Just on every level, that game is just not a good game. If you skip that game, you're not missing out on it. Anything. We're not skipping it, unfortunately, because we, well, I choose to suffer. Um, but it's gonna be okay. <laughs> um, but, like, that's the one thing that everybody can agree on. Like, that game is good. All right. Um... But then, like, or that game is bad, I mean, but then other than that, like, I'm trying to think of, like, what other, what other things people disagree, people agree on. Most people like, uh, Shadow at the Water's Edge. That's pretty universally loved as a game. But then, like, for example, Secret of Shadow Ranch is a game that a lot of people like, me being one of them. I literally, I remember when I was, like, 10, I played the game for the first time when it came out. Um, or when I first owned it. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know if it was a new game at that point or not. Um, but I played it for the first time. I beat it, and then I immediately fired it up again and played it again because I loved it so much. I, I love it. I love the, I love the atmosphere. The daily chores, you know, are kind of repetitive, but they're pretty fun, and the story is interesting, and, you know, I like the characters. They're fun to talk to. But some people really don't like that game, my brother being one of them. <laughs> finds that game super annoying. 
Um, and I think that's fascinating that, you know, puzzle games are such that people are all very different in what they're looking for out of them. Dossier, are we starting from the most recently released first and ending with the oldest game this year? No, so we did all of the DS games which were made by a couple different companies that weren't very interactive. And then I just kind of decided that the Dossier games would be a good transition between the DS games which are very scaled down and the PC adventure games that are very, very um, expansive really, even the old ones, like the, the, the environments are much more expansive and less hand-holdy, so I just figured it'd be a good kind of transition game from one to the other. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're gonna, after this game, tomorrow we have Kingdom Hearts, uh, but after this uh, game, the next Nancy Drew game we'll play is uh, the oldest, the original Secret Skin Guild. And Spencer was nice enough to put them all. I can't remember. Did you ever try to make the cake? I didn't. I was just thinking about it the other day. I'm gonna try to do it uh, this time around. I'll try to. I'll try to do it this time. I would love to do a live stream where I try to make it. I just. I don't know logistically how that would work, but I'm gonna look into it. And worst case scenario, I'll just make a video because uh, I do want to make the cake. Ellery was nice enough to test the cake recipe um, for us ahead of time. Alright! That solidified fast. Uh, hmm. This looks very similar to that gel I found in the, in the jungle room. Oops. Oops! Mr. Mingles, no! Nancy, are you still down there? Yeah, I'm still here. Then leave. Oh, fast. interesting, Patrick. Elton just entered the building. There's a slight problem. Yes. Mrs. Montague's dog ran off with some evidence. That mutt runs off with everything. Okay, look, all the trash from the salon gets incinerated about this time of day, so that's probably where I he went. it's a mutt. The She's probably not an adopt, don't shop hair. kind of person. So leave the lab and go to the furnace room. Now! Not that purebred dogs, like, adopting them are bad. They need homes, too, but, you know, she probably would, like, be the kind of person to turn her nose up at a shelter mutt. Um... Rookie investigator achieved gifted gumshoe. Woo! We're more than halfway done with it. Why was why did rookie investigator take such a long time? Oh shoot! Where did he just say to go? Oh no! I wasn't paying attention. I was not. I was not paying attention. Where is he supposed to go? No, I need to go somewhere else right now. Damn it. Classic game. Look, my ADHD is real bad. Not to not to use that as the excuse. Oh, this No, I need to go somewhere else right now. No, I need to go somewhere else right now. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. That's not where I need to go next. No, I need to go somewhere else right now. I don't think I'll need to do anything this there at the moment. I chose. Oh no, the furnace room. Thank you. There's oh, the place. There we go. Oh well, I didn't get any points for that one. Ah! I bet all these rats escaped from that cage. Maybe I should return them to their home. Sings Ratatouille theme song. Oh god, they're fast. Jeez, those fuckers can fly. Alright. The squeak! I Christ. Trying to make up for missing out on the other game. There we go. Not knowing where to go. Aha! Uh -huh. That dog 
dog is in here somewhere. Where are you, Mr. Mingo? I got a good bit of them. Mr. Mingles! Mr. Mingles, don't you dare. Hello, Nancy. Hi. I'm Joanna Brown. Welcome to my dark little corner of this dark little world. I like her already. <laughs> Joanna Brown, right, you're... The janitor. You're the janitor. How did you know who I was? Well, Nancy, when you spend all your time cleaning up after people, pretty soon you become invisible. They don't even know you're there Solve anymore. The yourself. But that's oh, I like all rats. Right, rats don't because it allows me. you to hear and see everything. Now, if it was like pet what tarantulas, I probably rats? would be a little well, less. Well, I thought maybe the dog had opened their really? cage somehow. Well, you know. So I caught them and put them back in. I was giving them their daily exercise. That's what makes their coats so lustrous. Oh, I'm sorry. That and an occasional dab of Helfton's leave-in conditioner. I love rats. I really do. I mean, then she's a her interactive girl. Because <clears throat> anyway, since you're, as you put it, invisible, of mouse, how much do you know about the... It took me an embarrassing the... long time into my adulthood to realize it was a play on afraid of a mouse, like a computer mouse. Accidents. How much do you know about the construction accidents? How much do you know about the man you're working for? That's the real question, Nancy. Fair enough, that's Assistant a fair question. Assistant Drew, please go to reception and fold the towels there. I repeat, Assistant Drew is to go to reception and oh, fold towels immediately. Towels? My brother could have come up with a much better code fair, than that. that is true, that didn't happen He's to a me. writer. You're, to be fair, to In be fact, clear, he... People who are afraid of Maybe rats, later. valid. It's just you a, better just a go. Thing. I, like rats. I almost forgot. I still got to take this dog back to Mrs. Montague. I'll do it. Come here, Mr. Mingles. Just don't grab him too hard, or he might. Oh no, he swallowed it. <laughs> He'll be fine. You better go to reception and do something about those towels. Una Mas. This one might really bug you. Uh oh. Okay, I've got new stuff. They do new things. Let's see, these are locked. You have to swap them with something to unlock them because they can't be moved. These can travel anywhere. So, like this one, I can swap all the way over there. Nope, can't do that. That's gonna be a block. Yeah, they're increasingly making them harder, which is good. That's the point of a puzzle game for them to be challenging. Like, to this. That unlocks that one. Excuse me. Uh, also, I'm not super sure, but I think... I think the, um, it looks like the amount of ones that we need are getting bigger. There we go. Unlock these so we get this all cleared up. Um, let's see. Unlock this one. The more we can get locked up, the less chance there is of us getting stuck. So I've learned that trying to unlock as many as you can is probably advisable. Ooh, we've got, oh no, we've got two locked next to each other. Okay, so we're gonna have to unlock this one first. Oh, and that's a, okay, well, we're gonna have to. All right, we got all the C's we need. Yep, see the hints reset. Okay, 
we've got the O and we've got the I. Can't swap that one. Sometimes it's beneficial to keep swapping ones that you already have, though, just to keep things going. Let's see. Oops, sorry. No, the dog's fine. It's not going to be poisonous for it. It's just we needed the evidence. So now Nancy's just kind of screwed. Uh, thank you guys, by the way, for showing up uh, consistently for Nancy Drew. I was a little worried that because we've already covered these games before, people would kind of be not interested. But it seems like that's what makes it more interesting for people. Mouse in my pillow and I woke up to it looking at me. I screamed, jumped out and ran for the room. I'm sorry. That's not fun. Generally, you don't want anything in your sleeping space that you did not authorize. <laughs> All we need is R. Oh, that's locked, that's locked, let's see. Okay, this is gonna be a little, oh, here we go, here's that. There we go. Oh, I am a pair yet one object, scissors. Oh, now I'm thinking about Us, a movie that will haunt me for the rest of my life. The answer is definitely scissors. So now I know right we're going there. to the salon. That's where the next bomb must be. That shampoo bottle on the floor is oddly large. Wait a sec. That's no shampoo bottle. Uh-oh. Cockroaches. I hate cockroaches. Catch as many rats as you can, or cockroaches as you can. Same type of minigame, just different pests. But I get a bonus 250 points for every single one I can get. I don't like the sound of the scurrying. If I had a nickel for every time Nancy Drew had to clean up rats with her bare hands for rich people, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. I caught 18. I don't know how many rats I caught, but I think that's more. Your pet in the closet. Still don't know where that fucker went. <laughs> Getting close to being done with gifted gum. Nick's not here. Brett's Joanna did say I should know more about him, so a little snooping couldn't hurt. Sure. What's this note on Nick's desk? To do, find those eyeballs, shred the documents in the locked cabinet. Oh, really? I know what I'm doing. All right, so we need to find eyeballs. Oh, well, here's one of them. Not a very good hiding place, but you know. Lift up the carpet. Okay. Once upon a time, there were five animals who decided to have a race to see who was the fastest. They were each interviewed afterward. This is what they said. Frog, I was the runner up. Cat, I napped after crossing the finish line. Dog, I was on the hare's tail the whole time. Hare, I wasn't first, but at least I beat the rat. Rat, the cat was waiting for me when I finished. Okay. Put, their th put these in order. All right. 
And this one is, each row and column must have one planetary symbol, one animal, one fruit. Three different colors. Alright. Let's do this one first. I'm not, I'm not as good at this one. These are just reasoning puzzles. I, reasoning puzzles are good. I was always okay at them in, like, in school as a kid. At least the rats are cute. Yeah, true. Very true. Let's just assume that that's that. If I work off of that... Should do it. Hey, I did it. I think there's multiple ways to solve that puzzle, but. Alright. No, oh, Nancy folded it over for me. Thank you. Alright, so Frog was the runner up. Oh, we have a donation! Thank you! Let's see. Oh gosh, I really need a better system for playing through these games. With the. Ah! Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Uh, Lonnie Manila donated $5. Keep up the good work, Avery. Well, thank you, Lonnie Manila. <laughs> um, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. We are really close to our $500 milestone. I might put on the... the uh, uh, assuming we don't hit it tonight, I might put on the main, what have you, uh, like on the community tab for the Sailor Moon fans to see if uh, uh, any of them uh, could just, uh, are willing to help us push over that goal so we can do our Sailor Moon Volume 3 reading. Um, I napped after crossing the finish line. Let's say that big cat. When they said cat, that's a big cat. Lonnie Manella. Thank you, Lonnie. <laughs> Alright, the hare said I wasn't first, but at least I beat the rat. There. There we go. Oh my gosh, right, is Nick is embezzling money from the clients and the Redondo. Yep, that's why you wanted to shred it. Nicholas! <clears throat> mm-hmm. Do you want to know what <laughs> Here my goes poor Nancy darling answering Mr. Mingles other is doing phone now? Again. He's belching blue, horribly odoriferous bubbles! Your Doesn't welcome is what pain, she would say. Thank goodness. But we both we know appreciate yet another you. side effect of the bot spinal manipulation performed by that dreadful redondo quack to whom Here's you Patrick, insisted said I take him. Thank and the behavioral Patrick. side effects? Why, no sooner did that janitor lady set Mr. Mingles down after finding him in the furnace room than the poor thing ran off again! I immediately ordered her to catch him, which could take a while because Mr. Mingles is so I mean, slightly, and she said, so "That's my theory." Not, but that's just an Avery theory. But as soon as my precious baby and is cut. back oh, in God, my arms, again. you and I are going to have a very long talk. Sounds like this would be a good time to snoop around Joanna's furnace room. All right. Oh, I only got nine hundred points on that on that chapter. But I like did the best that I could. How could how did I only get nine hundred points? On to my next like they location. Me get more points. Not to blame the game, but you know. What is that sound? Oh no. I think there's a bomb in here somewhere. Where is it? The bomb is inside the furnace. Assistant Drew, please go to reception and fold the towels there. Immediately. Sorry, Nick. I already know where the next bomb is. I just need to figure out how to turn off this furnace first. Oh, the furnace needs to be off. I should have read This has a spot for a crank. Okay, where can I stick? 
steal a crank off something. It has a log handle. There's probably something I need to get off the top. Rat Orama 23. Oh, good for good for Joanna and the rats. of paper was used in this bomb. I'll have to keep an eye out for the magazine it was torn from. <laughs> Nancy's like, yeah, I'll look at that in a second. I got bigger fish to fry currently. Oh, whoops. Eight seconds to spare. I did it. Catastrophe Star. averted. As the Barney song goes, if you can't do it the first time, try and try again. This is a crucible for melting metals at low temperatures. Okay, let me get these screws out. Probably with a screwdriver. Bucket full of mop water. The screwdriver is only a bit got a good grip on it. Oh, Nancy. I feel like we could, but that would I can't be get easy. that ingot of metal out. I'm going to have to bribe one of Joanna's furry friends for help. Why is the ingot of metal in with the rats? Okay. Fluffy towel, good insulator. We're gonna teach kids about safety against burns, is what we're doing. Alright, I guess this is the rat specifically we're gonna bribe. Let's call him Gerald. Now, Gerald apparently probably is going to be bribed with. I wonder if I could just pair it or if I have to. Oh, good. Thought I was gonna have to twist it off. There's a key. Sorry, Joanna. I really like you. I think you're cool in a macabre way, but I. It's for the greater good. I don't mean to. I don't want to have to snoop through your stuff, but the game makes me. Oh, I heard something. Oh. This is like a kill. Kind of. Am I the only one who feels like it's a little unsafe for rats to just be running around this place? I guess maybe she has it rat proof. She seems to know a lot about rats. More than I do. Wonder if there's anything underneath this recliner, Nancy says, for no reason whatsoever. Just has that Nancy Drew sense of knowing exactly what to do. A mold for a key. Okay. You have to make the second darn thing. This is interesting reading material. Wait a second. There's something behind this Mid break book. at Waverly. Our girl's story of secrets and scandals. Ah, this was coming out right around the time of Waverly Academy, which was one of the full-fledged games, so that's a fun little piece. It's a bomb and it's going to explode. Ah, well, Nancy has been hired to deal with this so that all the rich people don't find out about it. It is a lot of rats for that size cage. Yes, it, yes, indeed, it is. Rat 
rat treats. They don't look very good. We have bribed our rat friend. Oh, nope, that's not what I want. water. Oh. Okay, so we put that in there, and then we grab it with a towel. Oh no, 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 no. Now we put it in here, but it's too hot. So now we grab it with the towel. I feel like you should have probably grabbed it with the towel anyway. melted. Now where do I put this? There. Oh, we're not... The key is too hot to touch. There we go. I knew the towel came into play at some point. This game is hard on the replay because you feel like you know everything because I played it and I'm like, I remember the general idea, but I don't remember like the exact order. So. Oh, the key needs to be cool then. Oh, she does not like Joanna. Or she does uh, she does not like Jasmine. That's that's her name. What does it want me to see? supposed to see in here? It's a shattered CD. Joanna has oh, a creepy anti-shrine to Jasmine. I'd better check on her. Anti-shrine would be a great name for a band. <laughs> Let's see. Go to the guest That's where I need to get to. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yep. Let me see Buffy the Vampire Slayer. A long time ago and not a lot of it. I do want to start covering it, though. We're really close to being done with Gifted Gumshoe. Darn, Jasmine changed her password. Damn. I need to find her phone again. She must know that somebody got in. Although she doesn't suspect Nancy, which is strange. Find phone and stop losing it. Get more business cards. Detox appointment 2.30. Don't be late. This is part of Jasmine's business card. If I can find the rest of it, I can call her number and find her phone when it rings. Ah. All right. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. I clicked the wrong thing. I think there's a massage thing in the bathroom. small for me to reach. Okay, what can I use? Oh. Simone has got to do something about this. If I got all that done, I'd end up looking like Ida Ick. Claims that as your personal trainer, you must participate in the preparation of your food. Fortunately, the man is such a behemoth. Something, something, something. Oh, there we go. Jasmine has an emergency kit in here. It's got all sorts of stuff. Tape, batteries, even a sewing kit. Nice. Everybody should have an emergency kit. Good for Jasmine. one. Oops. 
that's what I can use to call her phone. It looks like I have all the pieces for this business card. I just need to make sure they stay together. Oh, now we're gonna put them together. Let's see. Why did the old business card get so ripped up anyway? Who gets was she that mad? At the business card? There. Also, as an actress, like, actors I know don't have business cards so much as they have headshots, you know? Alright, so we have the number. Call it. The phone is in her TV. Rollmeister. I need to open That's it up. That's big in the game. Where's that remote control? I'm not mad at something, I'd burn it. Are we going to acknowledge the octopus in the room? Oh yeah, we were talking about that before. The fact that the guests are just sleeping under an octopus? Very strange. Fresh batteries, let's see. Something for the new batteries. we need to find in here. Let's see. Remaining hymns, 26. Yeah, we're good. Why is the remote control out there? Is there a TV out there? The remote control is dead. We put the batteries in it. The power button. All right. Ooh, and it's a fancy TV. Never seen a TV that works like that. Ooh, that for control booster. Oh, and there's her phone on the top of it. agent is telling her to play up these threats for publicity. That's pretty sketchy. Simone Mueller is her agent. That's the agent of Brady Armstrong, a different actor character in a different game. For those of you new to this series. An underwater hotel in Florida? Oh my god, my mom would hate that. She only went to the to the uh, aquarium because my aunt and uncle wanted to go and she had fun but like she doesn't really love undersea stuff and fish i don't really like the sea but the aquarium in a, like a safe controlled environment to see all the species of fish and underwater life is pretty cool there were these japanese giant crabs uh, i forget what they were actually called but i remember that they were that their formal title was japanese and that they something and that they were giant crabs. Huge. These big, oh, Japanese spider crabs. That's what they were. Big, creepy looking crabs. They were so cool. I would never ever want to encounter one in the wild, but seeing it behind glass was so fun. It looks so claustrophobic. Oh, the underwater hotel, I'm sure. Okay, this is serious. This is seriously great news. The public loves it when they think a celebrity's in danger. This just the kind of thing to boost your this is just the kind of boost your career needs, so make sure you keep all the letters. The scarier they are, the better. In fact, if you think you know who they're from, try to provoke him into sending you more. I would that wait. Would that all my clients get threatening letters? I feel like somebody would approve of that. But... Bad advice. Don't tell her that. Maybe go to the police. Hi, guys, just jumping in. We are streaming. Hi, Tarfield Owl. We are streaming Nancy Drew dossier number. Oh, hello again. Uh, resorting well, to danger. I see you fixed whatever was making that awful noise and uh, made my it snack. It is day 11 of stream. Now I can turn all my attention to, to reading scripts and coalition. deciding which, if any, I'd like to tackle as my next project. I'm not sure whether to thank you or not. 
How well do you know the janitor here? I'm a part of the public, and I don't know... What am I saying? Of course they do. But frankly, I don't recall ever seeing him. I don't love it when a celebrity is is in real danger, right? She has an interesting collection of... Rats. She collects rats. News to me. I just read that you recently... Saw a UFO. Oop. I read that you recently underwent plastic surgery. Nancy, the queen of not. You should being... never, ever believe what you read in the Tinseltown rag. I am an actor. I don't need plastic surgery to do my job. Whether the character is beautiful or plain, if I am drawn to a role, I throw my whole being into it. Unfortunately, to make sure I continue to be offered decent roles, I must periodically grease the wheels of the Hollywood publicity machine, which is not one of my favorite pastimes. But still, I remain an actor, ever true to my craft. Speaking of publicity, Ida Brooks, the star of the new Pharaoh movie, is she really... A gopher. A bomb expert, she's her sister. Is Ida Brooks really your sister? Are you serious? That shallow, no-talent, self-absorbed little pea brain who thinks acting is being able to scream in three different octaves? You think she's my sister? Well, you do kind of look and sound like her. No, no. She looks and sounds like me. And you know why? Because she spent her whole life copying me. That's why. Out of jealousy, everybody always liked me best, and she has never learned to just deal with it. I mean, any similarity between us is just a coincidence. Assistant Drew, please report to the reception area. Sounds like our conversation's over. Nightmare Ta-ta! Time, yes. Hello, Avery. I have reported back churros with chocolate sauce. And I nearly died. It was so good. Ooh, and unhealthy. That's, you're, it's fine. You can eat the unhealthy stuff every once in a while. That's delicious. It does. Crab rave. a scar from when I got uh, stung by a jellyfish it, when I was like eight or nine. It wrapped its tentacle all the way around my arm. Um, and one time I was I jumped into a freshwater lake not knowing that there was like huge logs in the water and completely like busted my leg. Like completely. Like I didn't break my leg but like it was like gashed open. It wasn't good. Yeah, that doesn't sound like someone who isn't jealous of this history. No, that is the treatment for jellyfish thing, the old wives' tale. What I was told, but what we did not do, was that peeing on the jellyfish thing would help. Uh, that I, We did not do that. And uh, later it turned out that that's not even true. So all the poor people that were told that that's a survival technique, I'm so sorry. I, I put, we put like, we put vinegar on it, but it was like garlic vinegar, came up with that, I don't know, that's just something, like, that's what I was taught, that's what every, that everybody I knew was taught, like, that's like, the best thing for the jellyfish thing. Well, we came up with it, it's apparently not true, I think the idea is that, like, the acidity would help, but just, like, you put vinegar on it, which has more acidity, I think. Oh, my brother loves that game. And we murdered Captain Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Getting Cassidy stung by has a wandered off somewhere. Fun. I need for you to man the phones until he gets back. The construction accidents will have to wait. <laughs> the bombs will have to wait. God forbid somebody doesn't know how to answer the phone for rich people. Oh boy, incoming calls will show up here. Okay. okay. Put me through to the room where they store the bio waste. Why? Transfer me to wherever you guys keep the medical waste. I'd like to speak to a therapist specializing. Let me talk to someone who can do oh. my hair. Hi, I'm with the small animal clinic. Somebody called with a question about one of the... 
Let be a doll and put me through to whomever schedules hair appointment. Sorry, I'd like Cassie. to schedule any manicure. Mr. Helgeson, thank you. Uh, the bio. Oh, the waste room. That's where I was supposed to go. I would like very much to talk to Nicola. I'd like to talk to someone about meditative. I'd like to schedule a late. I need to speak to your most famous resident. Oh, that was wrong. Put me through to your boss, please. That's it, Nancy. You are out of here. Oh, man. Hang on. Let me try again. I'm always bad at this. I'm not good at this. Supervisor of the room with all the beautiful f The room where they do all the high-tech treatments. I need to schedule your annual boiler and I'm calling to find out if your sensory does. Put me through to Ms. Ivy. I'm her stunt double. Oh, whoops. I'd like to book an aquarium massage. I'd like to speak to a therapist specializing in mud, please. Oh, shoot. I'm with Wizard Window Washing. I need the dimensions of the biggest window at the Redondo. I don't know. Put me through to your boss. Hello, I am the aquarium specialist. Oh, shoot. Let that me talk famous. to your meditation expert. <laughs> the really angry ah, sounding guy. Let me talk to your meditation okay. expert. Somebody called with a question about one of their... I'd like to schedule any manicure. Oh, I hope the rats Whoever are Whoever runs that place, let me talk to him. Please put me through to the room where I can schedule an exotic bath. Somebody there called me about... Somebody there called me about repairing some steam. That's it, Nancy. Shoot. You are out of here. I'm with Wizard Window Washing. I need the dimensions of the biggest window at the Redondo. I don't know who the biggest window at the Redondo is. What are you talking about? This is Frankie's Medical Waste Collection Company. Mr. Helgeson, thank you. Let me talk to your meditation expert. Okay, guy, like come down. I'd like to speak to a therapist specializing in... I would like very much to talk to an... Hello, I am the aquarium specialist, and I want... I need to talk to someone about scheduling a mud bath. <laughs> Let me talk to someone who can give me the specs on your water heater. Please put me through to the room where I can schedule an exotic... Oh, God, sorry. I need to speak to help. Head of research, please. Got some data? Oh, let me be a doll and put me through to whomever... Transfer me to wherever you guys keep the medical waste. I need to schedule your annual boiler inspection. Put me through to the room where they do all the... The supervisor of the room with... I'd like to schedule a manicure. Okay. My last bill for staying there at the Redondo was out. Mr. Blesky, be quick about it. Let me talk to someone who can dye my hair. All right, good. Uh, Get it. yes, this is, uh, Dr. Anderson Too many Carver calls. calling from, um, uh, Maxwell General Hospital. I think supposed to be doing this job anyway, you're right. I need to know what procedure right. Jasmine Ivy elected to undergo at your facility. It's a matter of life and death. Maxwell General Hospital? Where's that? Why, in, um, in New York, of course. Look, I, I've no time for idle chatter. I must know what Ms. Ivy had done. Her life may be at stake. Are you sure you're not calling from Los Angeles? Like from, say, the Tinseltown Tattler? That <laughs> Nancy's no snitch. Darn. I just had to hear I your love voice. that. That's my, fa say that's my favorite one. Something exciting. Ms. Ivy? Cassidy? Actually, this is Nancy. Cassidy's not here right now. Ooh. Well, where is he? I don't know. Who's he with? I don't know that either. When will he be back? Never mind. You just tell Mr. Jones when you see him that... Never mind that either. Ooh, looks like it looks like there's a waste room in a resort, there. and I bet it's in the basement. I'll update my map. Somewhere else. Yeah, she was like, say something exciting. This is the magazine that was wedged in the bomb in the furnace room. But there's no mailing label to tell me who it belongs to. I 
wonder if it's in the recycling bin. Workers unite. I don't know who it belongs to, but I agree. That must be what Mr. Mingles was doing around the fountain. If I'm going to dig around there, I'd better turn it off first. Dick, it seems like Mr. M's, uh, Mrs. M's mischievous mutt has made off with keys to all the cabinets in the reception area. As a result, I can neither empty the recycling bin nor get anything out of the supply closet. Just thought you should know, Cassidy. Why do you want the recycling? Sure, put it in the hidden away drawer, but lock it. is blinking. What? Oh, it's something. Up oh, over here. Hope the controls the fountain. I hope this controls the fountain presses button. turned off. How can I move a bunch of these at once? Well, the drawer is totally empty. Okay, so we put the pencils in the drawer and then this is empty, so we move, we scoop these. We need to fish the keys out of there, all right. Here's some string. We're just gonna steal a harp string from the harp. I'm sure nobody's gonna be mad about that. Harp strings sound like something though something that's overly expensive, you know? I have a little room over here. I wonder if that's like the offices or what? Now me just worrying about wondering about the layout of fictional places for some reason. I've got 27 of them. Oh. Clip that. Whoop. Boom. I could use this as a fish hook. All right, there we go. Get the keys. Open the drawer. It belongs to Cassidy. Honestly, after having to answer those phone calls, I don't blame Cassidy for wanting to blow up this place. Well, well, look at this. She mans phones, she defuses bombs. Your talents seem to be endless. Six, 830. Not right. really, but I'm still trying to figure out oh, a lot now, of stuff. Like, why did I find... Everybody. Hi. Hi, Paolo. Good to see you. I go to New York. I've never been to New York either. Why, well, um, New York, of course. Definitely not suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Um. Trip through city, I want to visit the library. I do that too. The Chicago Library is my favorite library I've ever been to. It is a block big and it is seven stories high and I just literally wanted to spend an entire day there just reading that's what I wanted beautiful local bookstores are also great oh, there's this really adorable um, bookstore in Ocala that my granddad took me to um, I think one of the most recent, more recent times I've been there. Um, and it's beautiful. It's just this adorable, like, cozy, kind of cramped in a good way little bookstore. It's great. I love it so much. It smells like old books. Got witchy supplies today. It's a day it wasn't that bad. Cool. I have my little, um, how do you look? I have my, whoops, sorry, hang on, Dragon Bean is sitting on it. I have my little um, bottle of, of amethyst chips and um, rose gold, or rose, 
rose quartz heart. But the ro but my little amethyst chips and selenite. It's so funny because like people are always like, there's this, there's this place at um. There's this place at uh, the Pont City Market, which is basically this this kind of um, yuppie indoor outdoor mall. It's a really fun place to hang out, but they have more than one like witchy type of store that sell like crystals like this, like new agey kind of things, and they're always so expensive. I got these at my, at the Fernbank uh, Museum of Natural History because you know geology. Um, for like a couple bucks each, I think. I think one of these was like a dollar fifty, and it's just like so. Witchy girls who are also science girls, keep that in mind the next time you go to a science museum or a natural history museum. We love. In your left hand to receive, and carry in your right hand to give. Yes. a friend to a witchy girl, you will always, always, always uh, know how to get the good vibes going in your life. Still trying to figure out a lot of stuff. Like, why did I find... Hmm. Mr. Mingle's mixing chemicals in the lab. That's a talented dog. Why did I find a piece of your magazine wedged in the last bomb? If you're suggesting that I made that bomb, you're way off base. This is a reception area. Anybody could have ripped a piece of paper out of that magazine. But this magazine is addressed to you. And I can't help but wonder why you subscribe to a magazine that... A successful entrepreneur. Only rich people like to read. What a, what a drag, right? What a, what a read on Cassidy. Why would you read a, a magazine for rich people? You? Why do you subscribe to a magazine that practically declares war on wealthy people? Nancy's like, and why can, to that where can I subscribe in to in college it? when fighting the power and sticking it to the rich was the in thing. It's still the in thing. I changed my Let's tune the instant I graduated and had to start fending for myself. Really? Because it was thanks after, to some it was, it was some entering database, adulthood that made they me keep want to those hate things. the rich more. I'm too lazy to tell them Obviously they're wasting the postage. <laughs> Guess it's kind of my way of sticking it to them. Where were you just now? I'm afraid that's personal. Cassidy, Tell me if you need to head people. There? Yes, sir, Mr. Blesky. Well, welcome back. Now sit down so Nancy can go to the jungle room and capture that stupid bubble burping dog once and for all. On my way. All right. Up to 85,993 points, getting real close. Hopefully at the end of this chapter we'll be done with Gift of Elgin. Catch Mr. Mingles. Ouch! Let's go! Alright! I got him. You caught him. Good. I'll take him to Mrs. Montague so you can get back to investigating all the you know what's. The thing is, Mr. Mingles is burping blue bubbles because he... Swallowed... An explosive Mr. Combat. Mingles swallowed an explosive substance that Helfton Helgeson has been working on. Don't worry, the little mutt didn't poison himself. Everything Helfton creates is 100% non-toxic, organic, and biodegradable. But it looked like Helfton was being very secretive about this substance... I think he calls it... Oh boy, Compound X. Helfton calls the substance Compound X. I know all about Compound X. It's this explosive exfoliant. You rub it on and it literally blows the dead skin cells off your face. Well, that Look, sounds painful. if all you're coming up with are dead ends, why don't you go to the salon and help out for a while? If nothing else, it's a great place to hear yeah, the latest gossip. Yeah, fuck the establishment. Do. Yeah, Cassie, it's okay. Fuck the establishment. Oh, man. That was a chapter all in itself. All right, let's see. Let's get the music in here, it's very calming. Give Miss Aim, Ms. Ames a facial series and fix the vacuum. All right, let's start with a facial series because that sounds less involved. Oh good, the game had the same idea as me. What the hell is this? 
this stuff anyway. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, I need to reset. Hang on. I'm messing up. but that's more than I thought I would. Okay, uh, this is gonna be tricky. Or, or yellow, and then cover the eye. And then, oh, nope, 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 nope. Reset. Put this over the half of the face, okay. Then yellow, and cover the eye. Then cover, oh. Cover the nose. Nancy, good job. Yes, I just congratulated myself technically, but technically, I did do an okay job. Blue. Green, then cover this and this. Yes, good, good, good. And then do blue again, and then this. Looks like there's two on the other side. Why is it asymmetrical? I have no idea. What did I miss? Oh, I just I'm like, shoot, if I have to do that over again, I'm gonna be so sad. All right. Daily Bugle, that is fun. I would like to see that too. Seems like forever since I've seen this game. If only I remember it. Remembered any of it. Like I, I was like I was saying, Paulo, I was a little bit worried that nobody would care about replaying these games except for me. But it seems like everyone is really, really, really excited about revisiting these games. So I'm all for keeping it as a tradition on this channel. Don't visit New York. I mean, how was the movie? Just Let's go just say my husband to your local to big city. Well, and I mean, I live in Atlanta, which is um, known, like, we're known as the Empire What's State of the, the South for the fact that Atlanta gets something that begins with Harry, Carl, Christopher, and Cody, Carl. It's very different, but they're like big cities That's with it. industries, like big industries. Rumor has it. He's been so I can think the architecture is somewhat similar, so I can kind of see it. I'm not surprised. A little jealous, but. Apollo is correct. I love how everybody who's been to, to or God forbid lives near New York is like, it's Shh, fine. What do you think the deal is with all these construction accidents? The Redondo is too cheap to hire a competent worker. That's all. But I haven't even seen any workmen. Have you? No. So at least this place is doing something right. February 10th, 1906. My latest invention is absolutely indisputably brilliant. A built-in electrical vacuum cleaner for the dining room. All crumbs and 
any other dry messes on the floor need simply to be swept into the proximity of a vent and whoosh, they'll be sucked away instantly to find the correct code for the vacuum cleaner. Keep an eye on the sky and the ground. Okay. It's too high for me to reach. Yep, Nancy's definitely a short girl. I know that's literally the ceiling, but I've decided. Nancy, Natty said Nancy gives off short girl energy. And I agree, as a short girl myself. Flat end. We have five more things to find. It's a long hook for undoing latches. The skylight must be connected to the vacuum system. Trash can is mostly empty. The vacuum needs to be fixed first, okay? This is a combination lock. You need to get rid of all the hair. Do I put it in the trash can? Okay. I'm just going off of what color each number is. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. All right. I think I need this to kind of get the screw out of that. Nope, that's wrong. The screw's in a really tight space. Tweezers? Oh, we needed the tweezers. How can I make sure the pieces will stay together? Not sure, Nancy, but I guess you're gonna tell me in a second. They're all reading the Tinseltown Tattler about Jasmine. Poor Jasmine. She's a bit annoying, but still. Tabloid culture is weird. I don't like it. All right, let's get a hint. Huh? Do I press the button? No. Oh, this. Let's use another hint. I've got 29 of them. Ah, oh, see all the tiny things. This stuff is like super glue, nail glue. That it is. All right, so we fix that. Let's press the button. Oops! That's a really cool machine. I want to have that machine in my house. How was the acupressure session? Heavenly. Except afterwards, they put me in the zen zone. And all the while I was lying there, I kept hearing this weird ticking sound. Uh-oh. Ticking sound? <laughs> Probably some kind of new sound therapy. Me, every That's time why I love this the place. Salon They're just so darn innovative. Insult Mrs. Ticking Montague. sound. You're right, uh -oh. and you should I say it. I guess I know yes. where I need to go next. Who did we play? Who did we get as the bad guy in the last game? Anybody who wants to look, pull up the old last year's VOD and tell me. Um, right there. You know that's where the next bomb must be. We're almost at a hundred thousand points. We got to over twelve thousand points. Ooh, ooh, we're very, very much in the realm of super sleuth now. Hi, Bay. Wait, is this one? Not on a DS or only one screen thing. No, this is not a DS game. This is a Nancy Drew dossier game, which is um, the two dossier games that they made are PC games that are scaled down versions of the big full length adventure. Well, not, 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 not that it's not full length, but the big full scope uh, adventure games that they made in the main Her Interactive Nancy Drew series. So, um,. They only made two of them. This is the second of the two. The, the one that gets advertised at the end is scra was scrapped, unfortunately. So I thought this would be a good transition between the DS games and the full-fledged full adventure games since uh, 
it's PC, but it's a little bit more similar to the DS game. So this is our only screen. Sorry, that was a long answer. She ate no crumbs. Hi, Bay. Sewers and ships. Oh, sewers. I'm guessing by your tentative entrance that you are the new assistant. I'm Val, the head therapist here in the Zen Zone. I mean, it is I'm true that this this channel is about the covering nostalgic content and bringing you back to the things you know, that you love since I'm between before. Clients. So, and as long since as I'm this here community anyway, really loves Nancy Drew, it feels appropriate to play through the games once a year. That way, I can judge their effectiveness for myself. Remember them and bring new people into the fandom, like a cult. All right, more face treatment mini games. These mini games remind me quite a bit of like. Um, let's see, I think I can do it easier this way. I can save myself a couple time. Um, these remind me of like, did anybody play the like Barbie or Micey mini games? This is like, I'm not saying that there was one exactly like that one, but. It just kind of reminds me of something you would see in one of those games, is what I'm saying. Other eye, other eye, other eye. Oh shoot, I did it wrong. Um, yellow. Now we do green. this half of the place. Okay. Now we do green again. There was surely a shorter way to do this, probably, but you know. Either way, I think we got where we needed to go. Alright. you on how many moves it takes. Oh dear, it probably does. Whoops. Oh shoot, I did it wrong. I second guessed myself and that's always bad. Oh, there needs to be green. Okay, so put this here, put this here, put this here. Oh, and the mouth is, oh, the mouth is wrong. Why is the mouth wrong? Okay. We do blue, and then we do green. I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Oh, well. Only got 800 points, but okay. All right. So, start with this half of the face being yellow. Sorry, I'm talking my way through so that I don't get distracted. Uh, back, cover that nose because that half is going to stay completely clean the entire time. Um, we go green. Oh shoot, hang on. Back to yellow. We go here. This person's like, what are you doing? No, 
I think I did it right the first time. Go green. Can you tell where I start to struggle with the <laughs> with this puzzle? Should do it. Hey guys, coming. You're in. having to use willow wax instead of walnut balm because Cassidy One seems to have misplaced One my last order. Honestly, that man has no business being in charge of inventory. I've told Blesky that repeatedly. So the villain is different Blesky in every single no time we being play it. Is the thing. So like it's it. like a clue That's situation. Thank you for your six help. different endings. Sure. So I just want to know now I better got find that bomb. Time. Maybe we can get a, try to try for a different ending. I played the Barbie. DS game on my friend's DS. That's about it. Okay, we got Joanna last time. I think we shouldn't. I don't know. I can't remember if we specifically it's tried for this one cabinet. or I have to figure out how we to just kind of let the game decide. But I think we should do what we can to not get Joanna this time. One because I kind of like Joanna. She's just a she's just a goth woman after my own heart. Um, and two, it would be nice to show everybody a different ending than the one we got in the last one. Maybe years in the future, we'll be like, we got all the endings. Which, you know, is what Michael Gray did for just his one walkthrough, so kudos to him playing this game over and over again. A feast of beasts. The Tusky Diner's seatmate squeaked in anticipation. You can influence the ending depending on who, because at points Nancy will be asked who she suspects, and that will anticipate, um, or not anticipate, um, that will influence who the bad guy is. Reminder to post the Discord link. Oh, shoot. About tab of your channel. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Did I post the link for this stream? Because if not, I should have done that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Right. So this rat squeaked in anticipation. The animal couldn't. One animal couldn't seat herself, but was seated next to a woolly guest. Another roared when she discovered her companion hanging from the ceiling. Okay, so these two are. There we go. So we're just we're just matching them. Um, more when she discovered her from the ceiling. That's this the tiger and the monkey. Yet another crowed to his neighbor, so that's the rooster. A creature of large imagination. A dragon? Okay. One side held an animal that was loyal to his steadfast friend, and the last two guests had a race to their spots. Okay, so the racing guests would be the horse and the hare. I think the sheep and the snake go together, right. Okay, the loyal dog and the steadfast dog. There we go. Got it. I like to do that puzzle by doing the ones that I know and then letting it narrow it down for me. Oh man, I hate 
these puzzles get more and more hateable every time I do them. Huh. Sorry, Nancy. Let me try it again. Rats. Rats, indeed. All right. Um. Maybe we go over. We go all the way up and over. this way. Optimus Prime. Shout out to the Knights of the Bot table, who are all present right now, I think. I love this. Aw, oh, pineapples. That's how Nancy goes out. Natty, wait until the later games. Oh, you have no idea. They have some truly hilarious death sequences for Nancy when you mess up in these games. We sure mustn't see them be because I mess up a lot. I think I better figure out a way to listen in on their secret meeting. Overheard. Ooh, Cassidy and Jasmine. Let's get That's the tea need to on get that to. relationship. All right, we got fourteen thousand and four points and scored two hints. Nine thousand points earned from the mini game. Ooh, we're almost done with Super Sleuth. Uh, it's 113,397 points. Jasmine so and Cassidy far. won't be meeting anytime soon. There are too many clients wandering around. Maybe I can help them find their way out of the maze. Remember Avery got Nancy killed at least 12 times in one? Okay, so I haven't... I think that was the first death, right? I think that was the first death. So let's keep track. We have one death so far. <laughs> let's see how many times Nancy dies this time around. One, that's that's one. I promise I won't try to kill her on purpose, but you know. All right, this was the first death of this of the playthrough because we really couldn't die in the DS games. I don't think could we? We got caught a couple of times, but we didn't, like, die. Oops, 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 going the wrong way. At least Nancy Drew is redheaded this one. 
not that it gets the blonde, but Nancy is canonically supposed to be redhead. I know sometimes they say she's blonde, but I think that's more miscommunication than anything else. Oh, you startled me. You're the general assistant. Wonderful. Please assist me to a rejuvenation station so I can get a towel. I squashed towel. a spider with this one. Sorry, lady. Trying my best. Hang on. Well, I'm sorry. Go find it yourself, then. Shoot, she's gonna get mad at me before I get her there. Okay, 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 stop. Don't give me the death glare. I'm doing my best. Oh, shoot. Who lays things out like this? Lady, we're here. Lady, we're, we're right here, lady. Calm down. Oh my god! Damn it. I was right there. I was wrong. Oh dear. Sorry, lady. Find it yourself next time, I guess. Hey, what was that you said you hated about adventure games, Milo? Timed adventure games? Hello. Games? Listen, could you help me find a rejuvenation station? I really must get to some shade. I've just had a procedure, you see? And I'm supposed to limit my exposure to the sun. That definitely sounds like Lonnie Manella, Nancy Drew. Voice actress. Here we go. Shade! Not a moment too soon. Thank you. You're welcome. I didn't get anything for that one. Rescue clients one of four. Oh, I just have to do it again. Oh, it just made me do it again because I lost the first one. Okay. Oh, Brady. Oh, please, please, please take me to a rejuvenation station. I've been wandering around this maze thing for hours. Okay, you can't turn yellow that fast, lady. I literally could not get you there. Bit of civilization at last. Nope, oh, we're gonna try again with this one. <laughs> I guess she's back to where she started and still lost. Going the wrong way, going the wrong way. This is gonna get me there. What's this? That's very strange looking. Oh, it's a wheelbarrow. Okay, it's just tiny and I couldn't see. Thank goodness. I have no idea who you are, but I insist you take me to a rejuvenation station at once. Ah, uh, yes, just go along with the random person. I have no idea who they are. I'm just gonna follow them and hope that they don't have any nefarious intent person clearly did not have any stranger danger lessons in school. All right, the garden's clear. All right. Now where are Jasmine and Cassidy? Oh, I only got three or four. Jasmine and Cassidy, I think, are... Oh, it tells me where. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're somewhere in the center. Oh, no, I guess they're in the corner down. They always dress Nancy in, like, the ugliest, like, she's a nerd and she has no fashion sense, but, like, let her be fashionable. I still can't believe we're doing this. You keep saying that. I just can't seem to convince myself that this is going to end well. Of course it is, Cassidy. Now please, relax. <sighs> it's just... So not customary to let myself get into anything so far over my head. Trust me, we can, we will, and we must see this through. We'd better get back. Yes, it looks like something's happened to the reception area. We're supposed to be suspicious, like they're talking about being bomb makers, but they're really just talking about being in a relationship, clearly. Sorry, I'm going to have to leave. 
stream a bit while I join the Discord. I'm on my phone. No worries, thank you. Um, like, I would love a fashionable detective outfit with the trench coat. Yes. Oh, the shade. What? I'm saying Nancy Drew isn't fashionable? They, they make her look. I mean, it's several games that she's not fashionable. It's just like, come on. Let her be a nerdy fashionista. Danger means nothing to rich people? I guess not. Um, yeah. The Knights of the, bot of the Round Table put in their swords. We can put in other items and things that represent us. Ooh! And then Natty also says... Thank you for for instru for uh, helping Bay get to the Discord server. You guys are amazing. Lucia mask guys. That's a geek around here. Nice. Nancy, there you are. Look at this mess. This is what my hiring you was supposed to prevent. Where the heck were you? Why couldn't you stop this? Sorry, Mr. Glesky. I was... I was eavesdropping on someone in the garden. Don't you think you should call the police? No. Calling the authorities would mean bad publicity, and bad publicity is bad for business. This is just another construction accident. Some careless worker was digging and uh, hit a gas main and boom. But... No buts, Nancy. You are my police. You are going to sift through this mess and you are going to figure out who is responsible. Come see me when you've got something. I mean, I don't love the police either, but the idea of like, yes, teenager. Let the teenager uh -oh. do it. I'd better collect those letter tiles and figure out where this other bomb is. Kind of funny. There's another bomb in this room. You need to be green to find it. So the concept of putting in items on the round table. Place of swords. I do in fact have an actual sword. Ooh! Is it's a sword you got from Ren the Ren Fair, right? That's cool. purposes. I mean, Maddie was in fencing for a long time, so she's definitely got a sword. Fish food. Flathead screwdriver. Fish. I didn't mean to pair those. Damn it. Just fun little piratey 
blade I got for the vibes. It is me reasonably priced too. Nice. Not gonna lie, Ellery as a pirate captain sounds like sounds awesome. I feel like Ellery would be a great um a great pirate. <laughs> He'd just be like, I am the pirate king. Here is my cutlass. <laughs> Okay. Stuck. Reach. All right, we got two. What else? Here's another hint. We've got 34 of them. I don't want to get cut. What can I use to pick this up? The sturdy towel. Where is it? Nancy really does think towels just make you indestructible. Oh, flathead screwdriver. Try this out and to get. Where's the other stuck one? Get that out. All right, I have all the letter tiles. What could this say? Hillary is the pirate of the round table now. Pirated. Oh, recycle. another bomb in the recycling bin. It took a second to unlock and I was just like, is that not how you spell recycle? Is my brain that bad at spelling stuff? Sorry, what's the talk about pirates? I love pirates. Me and my friend were discussing yesterday and I probably too much. We were talking about how Ellery, who is one of our knights of the bot table, aka one of our mods here, is officially the pirate king. Uh, for owning a cutlass, a, a real life cutlass. Major cool points for owning the cutlass. Yay! Just join the Discord! Yay, now you'll get all of our uh, updates that me, or let's be real, half the time the mods <laughs> remember to post. Uh, because I always forget to post. But uh, it's it's so that the YouTube, YouTube isn't great at efficiently sending out notifications, so we kind of have had our own makeshift notification system over there. Recycling bin, pull it open. Sometimes we need to unlock it, sometimes we don't. I guess it can just be unlocked. Oh man, another one. Okay, so this is the only way that's gonna work. I already, I know, how, but I solved it. I'm annoyed. I'm nuts. Maybe I hadn't solved it. Maybe I was wrong anyway. Okay, so we know these are gonna have to go there. I'm gonna make an educated guess that these two go here because I'm not seeing a whole lot of straight upward, like, vertical pieces. Uh, this is gonna have to go there. Go there. No, maybe not. Uh, something's wrong. Damn, this one's hard. I don't like this one. I saw it. I, I blew it. Two seconds late. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can get it this time. I know it this time. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, ah, ah, curses. Forty-six seconds. 
Okay. 46 is my lucky number. I take that as an omen. 46. That goes there. These go here. This here. This here. This goes here. was my lucky number. There we go. No construction accidents here. There's something else in the recycling bin. I'm gonna go to Ren Fair. Your notifications are trash. Rats. of the bot table. Believe ye in the, ch the chat. Be behave ye in chat or walk the plank. Got my cut list. Got 90 bucks at the Ren Faire last Sunday. So go to a Ren Faire and save up a little bit of money. Nice. I've been hearing stories from my brother about the Reddit downfall, um, but I'm not really on Reddit enough to know what's wrong with it. I know about the drama on Twitch and why Twitch almost like burned down over the past week, but you absolutely should if you get the chance. Best week of my life. Ren fairs are awesome. I've never been to a Ren fair. Um, listen. I only listen to Am I the Asshole stories. Same. Looks like Helfton is pretty mad. Mad enough to bomb this place? Oh, and, um... Um... Ethan Nestor and... Why am I blanking on her name? They had a... I don't think they do it anymore. Maybe I'm just behind. They had a podcast where they would just read the bad dating the dating r slash dating advice subreddit uh and it was great oh i was not paying attention oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear um no i need to go somewhere else damn, right it's... now no i need to go oh, somewhere else room. right now the waste room never mind no i need to go somewhere else right now no i need but to go somewhere blinking. else right now Oh, and it's blinking because I'm on it. Um, That's where I need to get to. There we go. Oh, well. Sorry, game. All right. Very close to achieving full sloop super sleuth status. Animal care. Feed the cats. Molly. <laughs> Human contact Molly McKenna. Oh, this is the black cat. Look. It looks like there's part of a drawing on that scrap of paper. Same cat. That paper looks like it's more of the same drawing. Cat the cat? But this is the black cat from the last game. Maybe this is part of an architectural plan? Oh, oh, I the paper got ripped up I need to get all these papers out and figure out what they are. smell awful. Let's see. Itchy skin due to allergies. Tender spots due to nasty sunburn. Aw. Henry Bolet! Henry Bolet! It's Iggy! Iggy is from a, another one of the full games. We'll get there. On Twitch. Uh, Twitch decided, and then they kind of backpedaled, so I'm not sure where it is right now, but they had basically gutted the entire way that people could advertise on Twitch, which led tons and tons and tons of, like, the biggest Twitch streamers to boycott and say that if they kept going, um, they would switch over to YouTube or some other platform. 
So Twitch had to do like major damage control, like everybody was mad at Twitch. And I don't really go on Twitch that much, but I watch a lot of, honestly, I watch Twitch VODs once they get posted to YouTube. Um, but like, I was watching like Hassan, Hassan Piker and uh, Voice Critical talk about it. Uh, and my brother was very mad because he loves Twitch. Um, my son, hey. But now all my favorite subs are shut away. Oh, and Reddit has new rules. Sorry. Soon. Out. Bye, Bay. Thank you for hanging out. Reddit is kind of the same uh, cesspool as Twitter. Yeah. It's funny because for as somebody who makes online content, aside from YouTube, obviously where I hang out to make all of my content, I don't really use social media that much. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know I don't post that much. I mostly post to my story, and I have it done that in a while um uh, the last one i posted well i did post this weekend because the subscriber count was at 7777 and that was just very um uh serendipitous i don't know if that's the correct word uh <laughs> yes iggy wants low quads can we just talk about how this means that henry's just like on vacation here i hope that maybe he's here with gregor if you're new to this series, that's a character from a whole different game of Henry that we've decided they are together. Because Henry is the bi icon, and so is Gregor, and they would be perfect together. Let's be brood. I think I can roll flat. Oh, we've got lots and lots of things. This burner's still burning. He never turned it off. Or maybe he turned it off and back on. Okay, let's check it okay so here's a low quad for Iggy. Because if you. Whoop. Oh! oh. Oh. Oh, we need to make the solution for her for them and then give them their special treat. Okay. Okay. Indigestion. Way T. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he does have indigestion because he tends to take everybody's stuff. We have a problem getting water. We got this. Cooler full of ice. Just to make sure we have everything located. Monkey chow. Krollmeister makes monkey chow. Of course they do. They make everything. They're like the catch-all big name brand in this game. Petri dish of nuts. Henry Bolet and Cassidy are long lost siblings. Right. Because I'm pretty sure Cassidy uses Henry's character model. Yeah. In base. For his design. I think you're incredibly right. And this game, you know, this was the second game, and the first one I don't think did too well, so it kind of makes sense that they would just kind of recycle some assets that they had. But that's not a fun answer. Uh, Cassidy is the long-lost sibling of Henry. They have reunited, and now Henry is here visiting, I like to believe, introducing his brother uh, to Gregor, uh, his fiance. I, it's canon because I said so, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's start with the cat. Itchy skin due to allergies. Same, dude. Red gray paste on affected area. So we're gonna take, I assume you make paste with gray powder and water. No, that was wrong. Okay. Maybe. Oh, do we put the gray paste in there? Okay, and then you put the water in there. All right. Supposed to soothe. Okay, so we put this on the cat. Okay. And then the cat gets tuna. Just leaving the fridge open, Nancy, letting all that body air out? Okay. Get that piece of paper out. So we've got one of the four pieces. Okay, next on the list, I'm just going in order. We have bean. Gibson. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? You guys are gonna hate this, but I'm pretty sure Bean the monkey is meant to be one of the monkeys from, um, um, Ransom of the Seven Chips, because his co human contact 
is Richard Gibson, and I believe the Gibsons were the family that was away out of town um, and were not aware that their house was being used for nefarious purposes. Oh, OBG? I hope I'm reading that right. I can't really see. My glasses are good, but my, they're not that good. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Use Discord once in a while. Yeah, I apologize for not even being that active on our Discord lately, although I will post to our crochet um, section. Uh, I will post um, my finished blanket or a picture of me with the finished blanket. Ransom doesn't exist. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Yes, welcome people coming into chat. We are playing through the Nancy Drew PC games. We've played the DS games, which you can go back and watch. Uh, the playthrough of this year has its own playlist. And last year's playlist uh, also exists because we played all the PC games last year. It's kind of becoming a tradition for us. Um, you know what I really want to do, speaking of our... Um, speaking of our... Discord server, that's the word. Discord server, actually it's two words. I want to build, uh, if, if I ever do Sims, what I want to do is I want to build a house. Uh, I want to build the archivist's house. If you know about our Discord server, you know that it's styled after a house, <laughs> a mythical archivist's house with like all of these rooms. Um, this spot's due to nasty sunburn. Oh, spread aloe gel, not entirely from affected areas. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong thing. I didn't mean to click that. Damn it. Can you roll them out? There we go. Thought it was going to make me put it there, but then it couldn't. All right. Um, I want, that's what I want to do. I want to build the archivist house in uh, in Sims, and I would stream it if, if and when I do that. More of a city living Sims girl usually, but if I can build my own arch archivist house, that's pretty cool. Oh, Meister Monkey Chow. <laughs> All right, piece two. Now let's see. I believe Iggy is up next. Yep. Indigestion due to constant compulsive consumption of low quads. <laughs> Indigest away tea must be heated and then cooled. So I assume we heat it with the Bunsen burner and then we cool it with the ice uh, and then we give it to Iggy. I've never given tea to an iguana before, I guess outside of playing this game in the past, but there you go. Uh, and then Iggy wants the loquat. And finally, the rat. What does the rat want? Oh, I keep clicking that. Uh, concerns about light sensitivity due to minimal eye pigmentation. Sunglasses. <laughs> Tiny sunglasses are being created for him at off-site manufacturing company. Aww. So I guess we just give him the nuts. That's adorable. They're, I wanted to see. I wanted to see the little rat sunglasses. Hmm. This Center for Personal Physical Improvement Concept Phase. Someone's coming. I better hide. Oh dear. You, out of everyone, should know that I am a true genius, Mrs. Montague. Where is she hiding? I'm a fan, it's true. In the but it's not as if you're entirely responsible for my incredible looks. I am something of a natural beauty, you know. Oh, yes, Nancy died two more times true. in the last bomb. Uh, my products, they only enhance your beauty. I do not mean to suggest otherwise, but please know We're up to three Nancy I am Drew suffocating deaths. in this place. It is destroying my drive, compromising my creativity. I don't. I forget how many times I got caught in the last game. Um, 
Yes, Snookums. His silly alliterations are the tiresome, CS aren't games, they? But I'll just start counting Please, from now, Mr. Mingles and I Drew, have things uh, to do. How much do you need? To buy my own retail outlet? <laughs> as I am sure I do not have to tell such a woman as yourself, who is uh, as skilled in hey, look, business as we're ending she is in the fun, like, funny in number. appearance. Uh, that, uh, Spit it out. $674,922? Oh my, that's a tidy sum, isn't it? But then, depriving the Redondo of its association with you might just be the financial blow that sinks this quack pit once and for all. I'd get first dibs on any and all products and procedures you develop? Absolutely. <coughs> yes, Mummy's getting bored too, little one. I know. Why don't you and I go get massages? I'll get back to you, Helfton. And I should report back to Mr. Blesky. All right. There's the place. Thousand fifty points. Ooh, we're at one hundred and twenty-four thousand one hundred sixty-nine points. So not bad, not you've bad. had plenty of time to talk to people and snoop around. Who's the culprit? Let's hear it. Well, I think the person doing the bomb, I mean, doing the bad things around here is... Okay, so the first person I'm going to accuse is Mrs. Montague. Um, because Mrs. Montague triggers Ellery, and we don't like that. My prime suspect is Mrs. Montague. Are you sure? Well, on second thought... Leno's brother. All right, I'll let chat pick a secondary person to to uh, accuse so that it'll still be a it'll still be a su uh, surprise. If we keep saying Mrs. Montague, then we'll definitely get Mrs. Montague. Um, but if we choose a secondary one, then we can be surprised. So I'll let chat decide. Hello, everybody coming in. This is day 11 of streaming all through June, all through Pride Month, to raise money for the Trans Housing Coalition. We got Joanna Brown last time. I'm going to say let's not accuse her this time just because I want to see a different ending. Hang on. I'm going to go grab a snack while chat... Uh, moles that over, so chair stream for two seconds. Everybody, uh, here, let, let's do a poll. Oop. Let's do a poll. I can't see the options in my phone. Here, I'm doing a poll, I'm doing a poll. Uh, let's see. Who should we accuse? Uh, you've got Cassidy. Oh, whoops. You've got Cassidy. You've got Jasmine, who's the actress. Cassidy works at the front desk. Got Helfden, the biochemist. And there was another, oh yeah, Nick. Nick Blesky, the guy that we're talking to. We could just accuse him right to his face. I'm gonna ask you guys that and I will be right back. Nobody go anywhere. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back in a moment. I'm just
sorry. Um, uh, I didn't choose Cassidy or Jasmine because they are both hot as fuck. True. Great. That seems shady to me. Checking if he's still up. Aw. Alright, I guess we'll... We'll, we'll accuse Cassidy as a secondary, but also fight the power. I really hope that Mrs. Montague ends up being the bad guy. My prime suspect is Cassidy Jones. I found a link between him and a bomb I managed to defuse, and I overheard a conversation that made it sound like he and one of the guests are up to something. I just can't prove anything yet. They're Cassidy just spends a, a lot of time in the Zen Zone. Maybe you should try looking for proof in there. I'll do that. Southern Hemisphere. Earth is your bare feet on the ground, golden no matter where you are. I love that this guy from like a hundred years plus years ago uh, is just, <laughs> he has nothing to do with the actual mystery. Like, usually it's like, oh, old guy. Hmm. Looks like someone lost now. their marbles. This guy just was here. Yeah, someone lost their marbles. This guy just used to live here, and so he rigged a bunch of contraptions and dancing. Like, it's probably good to remember that. Whoa! 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 Okay. Well, okay. I've got a bunch of these. Wood is the sunrise and watching things grow. Okay. So the sun rises in the east. Sunrise and watching things grow. I assume that means eyes are also there and green for growing things. Go? Okay. Metal is the sunset, uh, which happens in the west. What's metal? That looks metal to me. Metal and west go together. And the perfume of gardenias. Gardenias reminds me of a really early Nancy Drew game called Message in a Haunted Mansion, which I really like. It was like my first game I played. Um, 
his gardenias um, was um, was uh, one of the characters you learn about historically uh, was her favorite flower. There was this romantic um, letter from her cowboy boyfriend that was like, gardenias, your favorite. Gardenias are oh what co what color? Looking of gardenias, yellow. yellow? No, damn it. White, they're white. Damn it. I should have known that. Not to like pat my own back, but I think it's surprising the way. I was reading a novel, work in progress, I was working on and while back a while back and I must say the line while he had outgrown his mischief. It often felt like his brother, his brother's mischief had outgrown him. Instead, is vibey. That's a good line. I like that one. I like that a lot. Wicked smart. Yes, I agree. Normally find this, feel this good about my old writing. It's good to feel good about your own work. I, we've talked about this a lot lately. Um, Gabe and I have talked about this. Just like, it's good to, you know, we use, we were all kind of raised to be like, ah, don't, um, you know, don't, um, you know, take pride in what you do, but it's like, you should though. It's good to take pride in what you do. Wait, fire is spicy, which means it's probably this. Um, I'm just skipping water for now. I don't know, maybe water is <laughs> black, dark of night, the most famous aurora, the northern lights. Oh, and here it is, the den of the dark of night, yeah. There we go. Let's see. Fire is spicy, so taste. Hot peppers. And summer in December. That would be the southern hemisphere. Which leaves earth. Earth is your bare feet. So touch on the ground. Golden, no matter where you are. Golden, and then just... No, uh, just center. There we go. Whoa, oh. Mr. Boy. Mingles must have buried this here. Nick, the board feels that Cassidy Jones has been doing an exceptional job and recommends he pr be promoted to guest services manager effective immediately. Also, oh no, if we, in this, in this version of events, if Cassidy ends up being the bad guy, which we do not accept just because, in our version of events, since there are multiples and we've made bigger leaps in logic, poor Henry would be reunited with his brother just for his brother to be a criminal. Also, the Redondo's books will undergo a routine audit in about four weeks. Please have all documents related to billing and accounting organized and ready to review by the end of the month. Nancy, you in there? Yes, I am, Mr. Blesky. A bunch of towels need to be folded in reception, so get on it. All right. Here's the latest note. Parents taught me to always do your best and take pride in it. I mean, I was always taught to take pride in my work, but like, it more just society in general. There was this thing in the 2000s with like, if you're if you're like, we were talking about this in the last video that I posted, the American Next Top Model one, where it's like, 
oh, this person feels, like, good about themselves and they're confident and, like, oh, we're gonna act like that's bad, like, pride is a deadly sin kind of thing, and it's like, hmm. We kind of all have that experience of, like, feeling bad about taking pride in what we do. And honestly, you should. You should do your best and you should take pride in what you do. A little something for the ladies. Piles containing... Clean slate tiles, matching the tile adds a power up to the left of your play area. Removes all bombs. Okay. Cool. What does this one do? Tile can be adjacent tile without having to make a match. Oh, cool. So like I can do this. Oh, that made a match anyway. Sorry, I was trying to make a point, but Six letters this time. So like this. I don't have to make a match. So that way I can get it close enough to that one. Oh, whoop, can't do that. Hang on. This. Oh shoot. No, I can't do that, but I can do this. Okay. Still not waste. I agree. Don't brag. Assholes brag. Oh yeah. Plus, don't take pride in your work, but more just be like, be humble, don't brag. Oh yeah, be humble, don't brag. But I definitely feel like sometimes people can mix up uh, bragging with just taking pride in being confident. Uh, but they took it way too far in the 2000s. That's exactly it. Yeah, they took it way too far because like be humble, don't brag turned into like don't say anything good about yourself because that's bragging. And it was like, that's not bragging. <laughs> being like, hey, I think I did a good job is not bragging. Bragging is like, oh my god, I'm the best. Like I always say this, I love, I love uh, Prince Edward from Enchanted. And I know I'm not the only one in, in here that does, but you know, the scene where he's like, Sire, do you like yourself? And he goes, what's not to like? Like, that's supposed to be like, oh my god, he's so shallow and braggy, like, he's so arrogant. But in actuality, like, I see that as just kind of like what you should, like, what healthy people should think. It's just like, because he doesn't say, like, I'm the best. That would be bragging. I like, everybody, nobody's as good as me. That would be braggy. But also, what he just says is like, what's not to like? Like, I don't hate myself. Like, that's kind of a good thing. And like, we're supposed to not like him for that. And I'm just like, the 2000s at work, guys. You can say you're, you're that you can like you. You can like yourself, guys. That's okay. How big of a weirdo am I? I went from watching Roy Donovan to watching Inside Out, LOL, which I definitely enjoyed. Inside Out is great. I don't think that's weird at all. I think that's called just being a well-rounded individual. Um. Oop. Oh. Oop. Oh. Sorry, I didn't think that one through. Oh dear. Uh, but yes, bless Prince Edward. Uh, he is... Oh, shoot, that's the wrong... That's wrong. He's there. Prince Edward is great, and I love him. Underrated Disney guy. Hello, oh, guys, just joining in. We're raising money for the Trans Housing Coalition. It is day 11 of streaming all through June for said cause. I'm very proud of how much we have raised so far. Uh, and thank you for being here, because just being here supports the cause. It also supports me as a creator, so all year, whether we're raising money or not, I'm always grateful for you being here, but, you know. Hmm. Let's see, any traveler ones? 
I hate that these two are right next to each other. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to unlock that. But let's do this. Maybe if I can clear a... Here's a Starburst one, a clean slate one. Please like the stream and donate if you can. Yes, liking the stream helps. It helps people um, see us. It helps the algorithm um, recognize us and, and uh, recommend us to more people. Is there a lock down? Cool. Woo! No more locked things for now. No, we already have all the A's we need, but you know, it's fun to use the little plain thing. They go whoosh. Because we just have the tops of A's and nothing really to. Swap it with just yet. No, this one can go anywhere. Or no, this one can uh, swap without needing to be. I don't have enough keys. Oh, we have one lock. I'm pretty sure we all are weirdos, but in a good way. Yeah, being a weirdo in a good way is always fun. <laughs> what I like about the community that we've built is we've built a community by nature of what the content is about, of people who are not afraid to be like, yeah, that random movie that nobody else ever seems to like give enough attention to. I love that movie. And you may quote me on that. Uh, I'm really glad that our community is not full of people that are like, oh my god, I'm so too cool for that movie. Because <laughs> all growing up, everybody used to act like they were way too cool for the things that I liked, uh, and therefore were way too cool for me. And nowadays, I see people um, being nostalgic for those things uh, online, after I know that they always were like, oh my god, people used to uh, give me so much uh, wait, I play leading role in fooling my audience. Actress. Ooh, shade being thrown. So many people used to give me crap for liking um, National Treasure. The as, clue like, a fun, is actress. You know, it's like a fun, goofy family movie. Um, Aha! I'll bet that's the place the clue refers nostalgic to. nostalgic for it because it's having a renaissance, which I love, but it is funny to see people who actively used to give me crap be like, I used to love that movie, and I'm like, well, oh my god, I'm right on the line of getting all the way done with Super Sleuth. Uh, same thing with when the Jonas Brothers got back together. Everyone used to bully me for liking the Jonas Brothers, and then I see people being like, I've always loved the Jonas Brothers. I'm like, well, I don't know, maybe you were like a closet fan just making fun of me, or maybe you just pretend to like it now, because I remember you did, you pretended not to like them. I'm glad that we have people that aren't too cool to school on our audience. Oh, I love this puzzle. I'm ready to confront their octopus phobias with me. I don't think I have a phobia, but you know. There's a new type of piece. Oh, the locked pieces. Okay. I assume they're going to want me to use them. Hmm. Oh, 
shoot, Nancy's gonna die again. It's not going to be that simple. Damn it. Oh shit, I think I. Ah, I think I got in it, but oh well. Nuts. Alright, Nancy's died two more times. I swear I'm not doing it to her on purpose. So far. Yikes, it's full of ladybugs. Sure glad this bomb didn't go off. Ladybugs are fine, Nancy. The aphids you have to worry about. Yeah, Twisted Lunchbox's channel on YouTube has them. That's where I've gotten them whenever I've covered them. Have I covered three? I've lost count. Have, have I covered three or four? Around the twists. Laser will know. A fancy crystal leaf light catcher. Nice. Cabinet door looks well used. Routine maintenance. Keep the tank shut. Oh, we're gonna have That to... octopus is holding on to a key. Exclusive to Australia streaming. Or internationally. <clears throat> That's why you use a VPN and then switch your your uh, usage to Australia. And then you just watch everything. You just you just swap it around to where everything is streaming. You get to play, you get to watch everything. Yorick likes crab. Yorick is the octopus, according to the instruction manual. Yorick's care and 
Richmond. Like Ivy, oh. See, she's that stealthy when it comes to this, but not with her putting all her passwords on her phone. This is a fun container, but it's full of candy. Suitcase is locked. We need to unlock it. Okay, let's put the candy in the bowl. This empty container is used for food. Wait, well, what could I use that container for that I can't use just the bowl for? I am confusion! We have 41 hints. I think I can get away with it. Ah, there we go. A secret, huh? I better find out what this key opens. A secret I keep. Oh, not that. Oh, I thought it opened that. Oh, that's the lock. Oh, I jumped the gun. Whoops. Oh, well, there goes my key. What does this button do? Let's press it. There's a live animal in there, but sure, what if it opened it? Access to the, what just opened? Oh, up here. Up there? What just opened? Oh, I know. Well, am I supposed to put tuna in there? That ought to keep him busy while I get that key. The tuna in the bowl, I guess it was just the shape. There's the key anyway. Either way, we got it. Oh, diary. So the diary is what is. Dear diary, Simone wants me to create a written account of what I'm going through as the victim of these threats. I think I can pull off this role. She swears it will generate a ton of publicity. And all, all I know is Miss... Oh, my eyes are watering. Ah! Miss Mueller... Better be right. It's on. Or it's new agent time. Hi, Perry. Hang on, I'm gonna go find. Oh, gosh. It feels like there's something in my eyes. I'm having terrible allergies. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to. Hang on, let me pull up. Let me. Ah! Hi, Perry. Come here. Sorry. Let's see. I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to go grab some tissues. Um, and yeah, hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Perry, don't jump up here. Don't jump. Don't turn anything off while I'm gone. If the stream ends, it's all her fault. <laughs>
There are currently too many things on my desk. Hang on. Hi, Terry. What did I miss, guys? Uh, um. Two episodes of H2O Just Said Water. One episode each of Skippy and the Saddle Club from Pure Flix, which sucks. Maybe he's just enough. Yeah, covered uh, three episodes of Round the Twists. So three, so seven episodes from Aus of Australian content total. <laughs> Excuse me. That's pretty okay. Um. Um. Oh, great. Share of knowledge. What wisdom do you be behold upon us? Thank you. Terrible allergies. I've been having terrible allergies all allergy season. And now people are like, your allergies are probably not being helped by the whole, like, um, bad air quality going on because of the wildfires and I'm like probably but also my allergies are always bad you guys can attest to that I get smacked by the phone oh I do that all the time I hate that why am I on ah I thought I'd you guys on this so that you guys weren't just looking at my ugly uh boring uh task manager Everything. Sorry about that, guys. Very professional over here. Welcome past host. Okay. Let's get back to the game. Terry, you know... Nope. You know the desk is off limits, Terry. Sorry. It wouldn't be if you knew how to just sit on the desk and not the computer. Well, Nancy Drew, get to the garden and please catch a certain canine that is running loose again. All right. Woo! Look at how close. Oh, I always come like this close to getting it, getting full private eye. But look at how close we are. 141,778 points. There he is. And it looks like he has some documents in his mouth. Mr. Mingles, drop it. Oh, I'd better follow him until he drops everything to make sure he doesn't swallow more evidence. Well, I could follow him better if he weren't stalling me. No, Mary, don't nudge the... the... the don't... Microphone. That's the word. Microphone. to put this together and see what Mr. Mingles was carrying in his mouth.
printed out email. Was interesting. Where did you find this document, Mr. Mingles? Mr. Mingles? Uh oh, he disappeared again. Oh, hello, Perry. I must destroy all. Yes, she is the bringer of. She is the bringer of destruction. Mr. Hel. Mr. Helgeson. We are still very interested in bringing you on board to develop a new cosmetics line at our company. Unfortunately, our legal department has indicated that we cannot offer you employment unless you are free of all legal obligations. Your current employer, in other words, your current contract, must be declared null and void. And when this occurs, please let us know. I hope to hear from you soon. Frederick B. Nancy Drew, in case you were wondering, Mr. Mingles was just spotted in the ivory room. Dear damn. 144,278 points. Woo! No, oh! Mr. Mingles, I better find a way to reverse the flow of the pneumatic tube and get him out of there. Control panel in the floor, of course. I have no idea what this is. Oh, computer automated electromechanical beautification and diagnostic station. The same bads. Marvelous machine which enables Petitions to identify and treat facial imperfections with the flip of a switch. Note to user, because clients must be completely relaxed when exposed to a same bads, it is advised to strap kiwi slices firmly to their eyes. Smiley face. Strap? Oh no. Same bads must be aimed for laser mode. Helped in also. I mean, that joints require frequent oiling. H. Bait. Your name is Ark. Your name is Sh Shark Bait. Ooh, ha -ha. Oh, whoops. Access panel. Let's see. I need something long and skinny to press this button. Let's see. What? What's the what's the rolling laughing? and press the big red button just because she sees a button. Pretty strong. This oh. suspicious password has three parts? It's a combination of the goldfish names. First of all, naming a goldfish bait seems mean. Also, naming a fish sounds is seems strange. But, you know, shark bait. Ooh, ah. Join is not moving. Where is the extra greasy grease? Kellen, hi, Kellen. Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog being vacuumed up. 
Yes, very funny. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to try to pair them. Damn it. Grease the hinges. Grease the hinges. Just like the Tin Man. Yes, Nancy. Surgical glue. Surgical glue? Is that a thing? Imaging mode? Okay. Okay. Let's press laser mode? Oh my god! Seems super dangerous. Can I use to fry this up? This thing. Oh, no. Oh, that's surgical glue. Wait, I forgot. Where is it? Oh, this. No, oh, didn't I already use this? The switch is broken. Use a surgical glue. Okay. Get Mr. Mingles out. Pull! Dog incoming. Whoa, there he is. Oh my god, that dog. To whom it may concern, as my representative law firm, I demand that you pursue a lawsuit for Mr. Mingles' current condition. I don't just want damages, I want everything. I don't care if you have to drag this out until they can't afford their lawyer fees. I don't care if you can do it in one fell swoop. No one cross me crosses me. Do this for me, or I will find another firm that will. Mrs. S.J. Montague. Nancy, more towels need folding in reception. Get Nancy's on it. having a good night. It has been a very fun night. Time once again to work your detective magic. Nothing going to be. I have no idea. It's weird, right? Think you're a hard-boiled detective? This one will show your worth. Oh, I bet this is the one that's supposed to blow up into eggs. Oh, that one can only be moved a number of times before it blows up. Oh, I hate those. Whoop. That one's gonna blow up in three moves. Um... Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Uh, well, how am I supposed to... Oh, have I been able to move these the entire time? I thought I couldn't move them. Damn it. <laughs> like, I can't move this because I can't unlock it. So let's unlock this. Shoot, that one's gonna blow up. Oh, man. Shoot! Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna need a star up uh, this thing. Oh, shoot, not that. This thing. That'll reset so I can get rid of all of these locks. So many locks. can't swap with that one. That's not how that works. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to do that, but there you go. Alright. Go fold yourself, fool. I know, they're just like, here, teenager. Oh, I can't believe you're late to solving our bomb problem. Jesus. Alright, 
that takes care of that. Oh, we haven't even gotten... Oh, this takes a lot of matches. Jeez. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. Ah! Hi guys, this is the part of the game where I talk myself through going insane. It's not that bad of a puzzle. But it's a lot of, it's a lot of, if you've seen me play these games before, it's a lot of, hmm, does it go here? Nah, that doesn't go there. How about here? Does it go here? Hmm, nah, it doesn't go there. Okay. There's a lot of stuff locked down. I see, I can swap with them, it's just it moves the dead space to that one. Okay. Fair enough. Interesting. This probably might not have happened if I if I was fully aware of that concept, but that's on me. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Ooh, that's so much better. Nice. For a second, we're fine. Okay, what did we get? Uh, so far, we have not unlocked any of the letters. Chew on my lip when I'm concentrating. And then it's sore, and then I'm like, why did I do that? Alright, we got R taken care of. That's good. Can't do that. Whoops. I hate when I do the lip thing. Mine isn't even a concentration thing. It's more of a boredom thing. Yeah, I get that. Good night, Texas. Oh my god, have we been playing for that long? when games go smoothly enough that I'm not like feeling like I'm like oh my god I'm still playing this game hopefully you guys don't feel like oh my god I'm still watching this game This time it's just gonna. Oh no! Alright, so th 
those are locked down. Great. I love how apparently this k killer is just Jigsaw and it's just like, I want to play a game. Here's a puzzle to undo all of my bombs. Some of us have watched you play into the wee hours of the morning. So this is nothing. Yeah. Thank you guys for doing that, by the way. And thank you for being here as we basically do the same thing all over again for charity. Oh shoot, nope. Click on this one and then click on that one. There we go. Okay. Alright, unlock a couple there. That's good. We've got the R and the A. Feels like we should have more than that, but you know what? Not complaining. Complaining a little, but okay. <laughs> Got two. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, there we go. Takes care of that. I don't need the A, but I'm trying to keep things moving around. Okay, we have the I now. Oh, uh oh. This there. Hmm. A bit closer. says and then maybe on YouTube block in Australia. Very weird. Every one of them just a few They probably just release it on YouTube in territories where it's less popular because they're thinking, oh instead of making no money off of this in this territory we'll just make a little bit of money off of YouTube ads and stuff. Um, but it's still annoying. Oh, shoot. We need S's. Let's see. Can't do that because it's blocked. Accidentally matched the other part that I needed with the other thing, the other R. So now that one's just a lost cause. But you know what? It's fine. It's it's fine. Shuffle. Let's see. Oh, here we go. There we go. What you should do with bad hands and bad eggs? Discard. Discard. I think the waste uh -huh. room is going to be where we go now. I'll bet that's the place the clue refers to. Yeah, copyright is super annoying. We're so close. I always get so close, and then I'm always like a hair shy. 153,128 points this time, though, so not bad. Oh. We're so lucky to have a friend that just can make bomb detectors.
Calm down, please. Oh, no. You calm down, please! Ah! <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Nancy died one time. Let's see. Let's try to use these parallel or... Perpendicular. Uh, let's try to get them all the way up there. Sorry, I can't say words, apparently. It's mostly straight. Straight pieces. Let's try to get all the way back down, then. And then... There's no way I can get all the way back up. Bowser Jr. Oh boy, it's about to die. I'm so sorry. No, that wouldn't be good. Let's see. Um, hmm. Try to work backwards next time. Rats. Differently in different areas of Australia. I know it works differently in different countries. Nope. We're all cool still. I think so. Unless there's something that I missed. Still. Did I do something to make people not support me? What did I do? Game over, franchise over. Did I? Yeah, did I do something? What did I do? still an Avery supporter, and I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I, like, straight up, like, cycled through, like, all my most recent content. Like, what could possibly make people mad at me? No, that's a popular opinion. Like, the Prince of Egypt is very popular in the Christian community. I don't even know if I'm correct in... Because I'd heard somebody say that it was more uh, Jewish-based than Christian-based. Both of those, you know, uh, that story is popular in both things, and I don't even know if I'm right. So apologies if I'm the one incorrect. Yeah, still at it, Patrick.
No, you're totally good, Bowser. I'm glad to have you here. <coughs> no, you know what? I don't want a hint. I probably should have taken a hint, but oh well. <coughs> no, this is wrong. Okay. Let's try doing it this way. No, definitely don't feel bad about uh, that, because I don't even know if you're inaccurate. I might be the one that's wrong. Uh, I'm just repeating what I heard somebody else say, so... I apologize if I was wrong, um, but I don't know that anybody is... Um... So I think, I think it's all good. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, maybe I have to do... Oh, I think I just got it. This could be messy. How many times? No. How many times did I just die? Three? I'm losing track. been that difficult for me no construction accidents here I just mean in this round Ick, this bombs loaded with rotten eggs I appreciate you too Bowser Autoclave 2000 sanitizes laboratory and medical tools using temperature and pressure. Oh, I love any, any Nancy Drew book. I wonder what was printed. Or Astrid. I don't want to take Astrid's book. Looks like someone is using a special kind of ink and paper in this printer. Okay. Yeah, it was silly of me to think we could play both of these uh, yesterday. I always forget how long they are. What? Oh, what? Something on the inside of this door. Oh, I need to open it. Maybe I need to pull it open. 
open. Someone has go. smeared their finger on the inside of this door. I need to steam it up to see what it says. See, that's the thing that always gets me, is the pedantic nature of these things, that are just like, you match them correctly, but you didn't open the door first. Bowser, how's everybody? Whoa, that air pressure change sent a bunch of papers flying. I'd better collect them. Someone may have been trying to destroy evidence in here. Sending me stuff is so sweet of you. It does help out with the channel to like have books to cover and movies and things like that. So thank you guys so much. I'm getting crumbs everywhere. Oh no. I need to vacuum in this room. go Bernadette a very mid book that I always think about when people say where'd you go I don't know why uh, that's too high up I oh. need to figure out a way to get it down right, I forgot one of us short girls Chicken wings, but at what cost? Oh gosh. Her mama must have loved that. Yikes. Alright, All right, we need. Oh, here we go. Pipe on that. Like you can't pick it up until we finish our cool little falling animation that we It looks like of. I have all those pieces of paper. They're blank. How do I get the ink to show up?
series benefiting the Trans Housing Coalition. Uh, I'm so proud of us for what we've raised so far. We are so close to hitting that $500 mark, which means by Monday, we might have a Sailor Moon stream on our hands, guys. Go to sleep, get some sleep. Uh, grab these. Okay, and we have another box. Corner. Oops, move this out of the way. Here's the other corner down here. Back there. That corner too. That kind of looks like Montana to my brain. I'm that's not really what Montana looks like, but anyway. Apparently, Joanna doesn't thrive in this environment. Could she be the bomber? My careful analysis of your test results indicates when under pressure you exhibit a propensity for violence which could eventually prove disruptive if not disastrous it is imperative that you avoid any and all people and situations which evoke your feelings of disappointment anger or frustration these stressors could easily elicit the aforementioned undesirable your current profession in which you must deal with people who possess massive egos and messy habits is less the idea less than ideal for someone in your state of mind, please consider putting your field in of academic re the PhD electrical engineering to good use and re-entering uh, re the field of academic research. Not only would you be working with like-minded individuals in a more palatable setting, but it is certain to make you feel more fulfilled. Please schedule a follow-up appointment next week. Um, well, looks like she's in therapy. Good for her. Queen behavior going to therapy. Oh, shoot. Someone's coming. What I, are you oh. doing here? Uh, looking for you. I uh, just wanted to talk Hello, some more. Poland. In fact, why don't you tell me about Not just your Michael brother? All of you Poland. said he was some kind of... No, just kidding. Hello, Michael. Welcome back, Bay. Don't be sorry. Um... Are you going to do a stream where Natasha plays the Hidden Staircase DS game? And she has to do it without your help. I mean, we just played the Hidden Staircase game, but we could do a stream where I have Natasha come over and try to play one of the games. We'll be playing them probably into next month at this point. Definitely into next month at this point. We have viewers in at least three continents right now. Woo! That's so crazy to me. Like, I tell my mom about that. Like, she, like... She's like, um, her brother's a writer. She's you like, said he was some kind of you writer? From, like, all around the my world. My brother Elwood? Like, it's crazy, He's right? a darn I good one. That's what kind of writer he is. Writes everything. Poems, stories, books, even movies. And that goofy haiku stuff. He's real good at that. Is he the one who wrote that book you have called... Break at Waverly. Did he write the book called Midbreak at Waverly? No, he's never been published. But last year, he came real close to selling a movie, real close. But this one person ended up saying no, and that was that. Broke poor Elwood's heart. Aw, poor Elwood. And seeing him all crushed like that broke mine. Aww. Long as you're here, come on, I'll give you a tour. The person who owned this place before the Redondo bought it built this big, elaborate underground bomb shelter. It's pretty cool. Uh, no, that's okay. I... Nancy, you down there? Uh, yes, Mr. Blesky. Joanna and I were just having a nice little chat. Well, care to guess who's now blowing little blue bubbles in the reception area? Guess the tour is gonna have to wait. See you later. Hey, um, do I lift it 
it open? Oh boy, he got himself stuck in a safe? I better figure out how to open this. Safe stuff EXE. That feels like a meme in, in, uh, in the waiting. Someone feel free to screenshot that. Did I just park on a random screen for meme potential? Yes, I, yes I did. All right. All right, speeds. Okay, okay, so we need to figure out the different codes. Lift this up again. It's the second time we've needed to lift up that thing. Move it down. to play forever. So that's the heart to read the rhythm. So I think two, two, four. That one. Let's see. But there's sheet music in here. Let's lift it up. One, two, three, two, a better me. Popular notes would be the gloves. So one, two, three, two. A better me. Something in here might help me pull it open. Or to buy your fish. Right. Marine feed. So that's four. And then what's the last one? Six. Uh, three, six. Mary's birthday. I bet you, those of you that... One, two, three, two, 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 four. Is that not it? Oh. I'm sorry for those of you who write, uh, your dates. Uh, reverse to how we in America do it because I'm sure those players really struggle. Unless they re release the name. about the game the target demographic is very rich people um and i guess all the fish food and stuff is for like their pets that they like to bring along Mr. Mingles, there you are. What a naughty, naughty boy you've been. Please, Mrs. Montague, from now on, keep him tied up or something, okay? I'll do no such thing. Especially since his odd behavior and all the other bizarre symptoms he now exhibits are your fault. You're so angry about his botched...
you're so angry about his botched spinal manipulation, I can't help but wonder how far you'll go to get even. Well, it is my hope that she goes as far as she can. Mr. Bleski and the people he works for are interested only in money. Not fairness, not compassion, not justice, just money. Hey, look, no one forced you to work here. You don't like your contract, you shouldn't have signed it. So just quit whining. And quit begging every guest that walks through the door for money to finance that idiotic pipe dream store of yours. So you're aware that Helfton... So you know he's been discussing funding with Mrs. Montague? Of course, Joanna told me. That Joanna? The janitor? Is she your new BFF or something? I could tell him what you've been doing. Ooh. Of course, that would mean your job, wouldn't it? You mean it's against the rules for staff members to... Read radical magazines. You mean it's against the rules for staff members to date guests? You bet it is. You didn't tell me we were breaking the rules. Oops. You? You're the one who's been fraternizing with the help? <coughs> yes, sweet thing. Mummy is appalled too. I guess we know whose films we'll never watch again. No, wait. Boy you don't understand. I, I was a working preparing for a role. Fuck it was you. all an act. Uh, excuse me? I was just seeing what a relationship with a lowly receptionist would feel like. I'm an actor. It was all research. So let's just keep this quiet, okay? There's no Ouch. reason for anyone to suffer just because some nosy loser couldn't keep her big fat mouth shut. If this throws a wrench in your career, good. You will be getting just what you deserve. How can you say that? What did I ever do to you? It's not what you did to her. It's what you did to... Her brother. Mr. Mingles. Joanna's angry about what you did to her brother. Her brother? My brother Elwood wrote the best movie script ever. Only they never made a movie out of it because you turned it down. And then, when he tried to get you to tell him what was wrong with it so he could fix it, you ignored his calls. Oh, that's terrible, Mike. All 89 sorry. of them. I will 89 not be ignored. of them. Oh my gosh. You're the one who's been leaving me those notes. Who cares about the notes? She's probably the one who's been planting those bombs. Bombs? Did he say bombs? Oh, <laughs> Don't worry, sweet pea. That was the last straw. We are leaving and never setting foot in this dreadful place again. By forcing well, me to work Celsius in the vicinity works, so of like someone as deranged as that like, oh, janitor, you have failed to provide me with a safe work Sorry environment. For being a dumb American. Uh, and that is a breach of my contract, <laughs> which means I, as they say, am out of here. <laughs> Good for you, yes. Is your brother looking around here too? Is he the one who's been planting the bombs? I can't believe this is happening to me. To my screwball sister, yes, but to me? I need to call my agent. Open your eyes, Dunderhead. Can't you see how preoccupied with publicity your supposed girlfriend is? She's the one making stuff go boom around here. Wise up. Well, now that people yeah, seem to be all done slinging too. mud at me, I think I'll go take a bath in some. Four what? words. Find the bomber. That's, That's only three. three. Now! Hey, my bomb detector's going off. This black powder must be what's triggering the detector. And that means this emergency shelter is my next destination. Oh. It looks like there are three entryways. I think entering from the garden is the safest bet. All right. We're getting so close. I just wanted to, I just wanted to get to the max. Oh. Press the toe. Oh, we skipped the... 
Oh. Interesting. We skipped the whole running around outside thing. Now that's a lock. Obviously, the bomber hasn't come through this door. I guess I need to figure out how to open it up. Stone pig? This must be a clue oh, to open no, this didn't. lock. I need to go where there are lots of statues. Okay, for a second I thought we were we were skipping that puzzle, and I was kind of disappointed because I like that puzzle. Right, we're going Time to, to move garden. on. <laughs> it's we're still gonna I always end with just a little sliver away from getting un ultimate private eye. Garden statues, you might already know where to place your something, something. Okay, the pig, and it says he wrote about hmm. Alright. My book learning needs to come in handy. forget who that's supposed to be. I think it's Pythagoras. I don't think. Euclid. Great song by Sleep Token. tell by the amount of times I've brought it up in streams lately. Sleep Token is my favorite band at the moment. Not to diss Bad Omens while I'm wearing their shirt. They're, they're also one of my favorite bands. Hidden okay. plaque. This coin looks like it would fit yeah, in that big go. bomb shelter I lock. See. I'd better find more coins. About bow sternly on an hey, epic. Hey, I got a scroll from Homer. Who could this belong to? Homer Simpson. The teacher is influential. Go to where the statue of what's his name teaching all the children? Maybe? Yeah, so the puzzle, you get clues to go and like put the little pieces of the statue in with the correct statue, and then the next clue leads you to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, until you have all the pieces to solve the original puzzle that we went back down to. His theory is a trinity of points. Alright. Harp. The first lyre was made of a shell. Okay, I should probably go get some sleep. Good night. 
Have a good night, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow. You still do Kingdom Hearts on Monday night, right? Yep. Monday night. Howdy. We'll see you guys there. Okay. First Lear, Liar, Lear, I never know how to say that word. <laughs> Made of a shell. Uh, I believe that's Hermes. It's from well, Hermes, I think. I'm remembering my Greek mythology, but I could be remembering it wrong. <laughs> Tomorrow's your birthday, Laser? Or wait, it's Monday already where you are. You mean next week? Oh wait, yeah, 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 next week. Sorry, I forgot. Wait, two weeks from now. I forgot where we are in the in the week. And I didn't read uh, far enough to see until I saw the... Anyway, sorry. Dumb question. Happy two weeks from now birthday. Hooking people on Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew is a thing that I think deserves way more clout than it gets. I always say people just kind of write Nancy Drew off as this thing that's really outdated and just for kids and. Uh, or is it Apollo? It could be Apollo. Maybe I'm misremembering. Uh, but Nancy Drew is actually just a really cool, chaotic character that I love. And I think she's just a genuinely good character, not just for girls, but for really anybody. was Apollo. Like how the graphic novels aren't fitting to Carolyn Keene. Well, I think I, I, I'm not. I'm, there's probably a licensing thing with that. But oh, oh no, here's Hermes. Well, I was like, watch it not be Hermes. Lighted messenger. And we get a snake. Facing after the laurel tree. Laurel tree. It could be an Aesop's fable thing. There's no, some literary historian is just cringing, being like, no, honey, no. I'm not sure if there's anywhere in this game that clearly, like, much about this stuff. But usually the Nancy Drew games are pretty good at having in-game ways to solve things if you've never known this stuff. It's to be assumed that children are playing it, but 
anyway, I'm, I'm really just trying to rack my brain for all of the mythology stuff that I know in my past. I'm saying Apollo, yeah. Sorry. It's your name, kind of. But it's, it sounds like your name plus an ah sound at the beginning, so. Artemis and Poseidon. Playing among the waves. Oh, that's the one that has all the dolphins in the statue. Oh, because he has a laurel. Yeah, okay. I'm forgetting what part of his mythology is tied to the laurel tree. I'm sorry. I need to do that streaming series where I read through all of Percy Jackson books so I can feel all smart in my Greek mythology like I used to be. I need to brush up. Poseidon. School's master. Oh, uh, that's gonna be Pythagorean. No matter how many times I do this puzzle or this maze, it'll always be annoying. nephew. I believe so, yeah. Oh no, I already got this one. Never mind. Hang on. Uh... Would it be Euclid? No. Creates things of metal. Oh, I forgot. That's not my... School's master was... Never mind. That was the thing for Poseidon. I creates things in metal and Sophistus. I was confused for a second. Let's see, where's my boy Hephaestus? Yes, that is the one that you said me. and I chose the wrong place. Alright. Getting his axe back. Lights the night with his fire. Burning desire for knowledge. That's the guy. That's the, this guy over here with the fire. Um, what's his name? 
Oh no, not this. Oh, yes, this guy. I'm like, wait. The pocket keys, yes. Repeat his oath. He wrote of animals and morals. That's Aesop. Aesop's fables were frequently in the Book of Virtues, um, which both the book and cartoon version horrified me as a small child. To the point where people have asked me, I always cried because the stories were almost always sad. So instead he wins the race. With, to the point where people have requested that I cover it and I have not. Through the pillar of wisdom, that's gonna be Athena. Because I'm afraid of how depressingly sad I always was watching that cartoon. My mom was always like, oh, it's so cute. Like, you know, it's such a, you know, uh, book of virtues. There's a cartoon, it's got little animals. That's so adorable. I was always crying, I was always sad. Good morning, see you today. Good morning, see you today. We're almost done with the game for those of you trying to stick around to the end. This is just easily the longest puzzle in the entirety of the game. Also one of the most interesting puzzles in the way that it gives you a lot of leeway to figure it out for yourself, which is always nice. Where the hell is Athena? Early, where, where'd you go? How did I lose a whole statue? other statue that exists here. Alright, look. The point. This was designed for me to get lost in it, though. My challenges with directional stuff is, is not to be blamed so much right now, so much as it's just literally a maze. even if it is annoying. It's one of those puzzles that invokes an amount of knowledge where you're like, oh, maybe this isn't just something kids can have fun doing. God, I keep hitting dead ends. Holy shit. Oh, how's everybody else's day been? Do you have a good Sunday slash Monday for those of you ahead of us in the time zones? I had a pretty chill day. I actually got to sleep. I actually got to have one of those days where I was like, I'm gonna nap. That was nice. Those days don't happen very often lately. It's missing. I saw her with my eyes. I know she's here. It must just be like either looking past her or something. For you. Yeah, it was nice. Watching Coco last Sunday. My mom was uh, watching too. So I'm fighting back tears at the ending while my mom just says, that's cute. I was like, you monster. You monster. No. 
so hard. Oh, I sob every time I watch that movie. It's not just you. I want, I've said it before, much like doing the Sailor Moon where I do like the big video, but I also have done and will do in the future smaller videos on individual episodes. I definitely want to do one big video on all of the um, Pixar movies, like in order. Uh, and then in the future, I can do like later, like smaller videos on individual movies so we can go a little bit deeper into them. Um, but I, they, there's going to have to be a cry counter if I cover all of those at once. Is this her? This might be her. I might have just been walking past her this entire time. And there's pillars. God damn it. Ah, sorry guys. Hang on. This is going to be incredibly frustrating to watch back. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. just can't tell until you're right there. Athena. There you go. Winged and wise. I believe Athena's symbol is an owl, which is where the winged comes from. Nurturing huntress. That hunt. Yeah. Nurturing huntress. That would be um, Artemis. Waiting for an eclipse. Waiting for an eclipse. Wait, waiting for an eclipse. These steps Nancy's getting. I hope she's got her step counter on. you don't really need to know about all of these characters and people and things just because um, there's something with them that if you look at them you should have a little bit easier of a time like that's a clue in and of itself but I guess like also knowing about them and like the history and stuff makes it easier waiting for an eclipse oh there's one with a one with a telescope, I think. Yeah, it's just gonna be like, if I have to walk one more step in this damn garden, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. But in my head, Nancy swears like a sailor. Video on all of Pixar would be great. I mean, there's definitely, I definitely want to, you know, do some of the Pixar movies where I break them down and get to talk about like every little piece of them, but just to have kind of like a general like fandom overview. Um, that'll be fun. I'm thinking some of those bigger videos are just going to kind of serve as not a way to say, okay, I've covered this whole thing and now I'm done with it. It's more sort they're more so just kind of going to be like, um, kind of like a, a guidebook of general knowledge about the specific fandom thing, and then deep dive videos of, of like smaller bits where we like look at just one episode or just one movie. There's still going to be plenty of room for. Uh, but yeah, all of Pixar. I'm on this kick lately where I'm, I want to do like big event videos, you know, ones that take a little longer to make, but are more of like a, wow, that's a really long video that you've got all together. Be proud of that, you know? Geometer? Maybe it's just geometer. Maybe I'm overthinking. Or, not. Space? Oh, it was that one. Never looked down. Alexandria's Library Mathematician. Still mad about the Library of Alexandria. 
I need to ask, Natasha says that all the time, I need to ask if we can put that on a, on a t-shirt. <laughs> like a bunch of books, still mad about the Library of Alexandria. I believe that's Euclid, but how do I get over to him? Again, great song by Steve Koken. I think I got all the coins. Now it's time to see if they fit in the door to the bomb shelter. All right. Maybe Pixar movies I haven't seen. There's a few that I haven't seen. And some I haven't seen in a while. What's everybody's favorite Pixar movie? And then what's everybody's, what's in everybody's opinion most overlooked Pixar movie? Um. My favorite, I always say Ratatouille. I think everything about that movie is just beautiful. It's obviously, I love other ones, but I love Ratatouille so much. And I think one of the most underrated or overlooked ones has to be Bugs Life. Because that movie is just a children's movie about why, why uh, unionizing is important. All right. have to be, let's just see if I can do this off of general knowledge, I probably can't. Aesop, tortoise and the hare. Fire would be... reading Rick Reed Orin stuff. Uh, that's probably going to be Apollo since he drives the sun chariot. That's going to be Athena. Oh, this one's for, okay, this one's for Greek. This one's for, this one's for historical figures. This one's for, uh, like, philosophers, people of history, and this one's for gods of myth. Athena. this and that one. And then Poseidon. Stop. That's gonna be... Hippocrates. Socratic Oath. That's gonna be Homer. The Iliad. And or Odyssey. <laughs> That last three are gonna be hard for you. Oh, I did it! Oh Yay, my gosh. Look at me. This is definitely the bomber's hideout. Woo! It's pretty dark over there. I'd better turn on that light. Toy Story is my favorite because it's my first and still holds up. Oh yeah. Like Wally, I think Wally gets overlooked for some reason. Yeah, it's a little bit slower in the beginning, so people kind of overlook it. But it is a very good movie. I'm going to go now. Bye, Bay. Code to get this open. Okay. Lots of things. Fine. Cord's been severed. It looks like a cat chewed through it. That's what half the cords in my house look like. I was, I was uh, crocheting, and, and uh, you, you gotta love when you're crocheting and you, um, <laughs> and you, um, you get to like just the end of your yarn, and you're like, why is this? What happened? And then you're like, oh, because Perry's on the floor just chewing through it. 
not the only one, so it's not uh, solely Perry. Yeah. I need something long and sticky to get this. Oh, I didn't mean to. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to match that. Damn it! <laughs> if you miss a match, then that run ruins your streak. Cut. Soldering. We're attaching metal parts together. And tape. Okay. Oh. Put these together and then tape it. That's what they want me to do. Oh. Oh, fuse the wires and then. Okay, never mind. Um, well. Wires have been used a lot. Hmm, they're blank. of them. I can't use them in the final sequence? Damn it. Use much wire, but let's cut some wire. Okay. That's it. And then we pair it. Oh, Nancy's being pedantic again. I forgot about that. her own yarn ball. I should just like give her one of the ones that's like almost used up anyway. That I'm probably just gonna use when I make like a um, like a puff square blanket out of all of the, whoops, sorry, all the leftover colors that I always have like at the end of stuff. Um, I'll probably just give her that. She'd probably appreciate that. Probably won't ruin it and if she does, eh, it was just leftover. <laughs> Sticky notes aren't blank anymore. Okay. Let's put these in order. One. Oh. Oh, wait, no. Put these. Uh, put them in order by the writing. Okay, once upon a time. Specialty luxury spa was built. Northern California. Its clients were wealthy and beautiful, but they and the spa were rotten from were rotting from the inside. Okay. Three six three five three one eight two. I'm probably gonna have I probably should have written that down. There we go. Oh Nancy did it for me. Okay, thank you, Nancy. Odd blank journal. Ink, put it under the bad thing. Things are not going well. Most of the recent bombings have been dis disarmed. Not only is all the fun being sucked out of this endeavor, but my beloved is starting to doubt my bomb building know how. Worse for the Redondo's quest, a uh, guest's life in all its rich, greedy glory goes on as usual. Something's got to be done. I bet it's Cassidy. I bet we're getting the Cassidy ending. Hi, new to the channel. Haven't subscribed yet, but I love your Beyond Belief videos. That was my favorite show growing up. Well, oh welcome my gosh, to the channel. you're the bomber. Uh, I thought so. Welcome to our month-long You thought I was the bomber? The Nancy, I'm hurt. Sorry, I'll, I'll Why? You, you obviously are the bomber. But you only say that because you've caught me more or less red-handed. I could have sworn that up till now, I was beyond suspicion. I thought it was you because... You 
looks I so thought it was you because I overheard you and Jasmine talking. Or should I say conspiring? And that Hello, magazine Leon. sending you copies when you weren't a subscriber? Didn't believe it. Who cares about the notes? She's probably the one who's been planting those bombs. So it was all Jasmine's idea? Well, maybe not entirely. I still get a kick out of fighting the power every once in a while. Validated. Wait, so, no, don't, where don't do we set go bombs, from here? but also fight the power. There's nowhere There's to go. Movie. You're caught. It's over. Unfortunately, Nancy, that's not quite true. The bomb I just finished constructing is not only extremely powerful, but I'm afraid it's armed. And when it goes off, major explosion. The spa, its guests, the staff, all gone. So it's either capture me and watch the Redondo as well as yourself go bye-bye, or let me go and defuse the bomb. What will it be, Nancy? What will it be? <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, great. Aw, oh, man. Oh, I died like at least three other times. Just say conservatively three other times on that other puzzle. Uh, so Cassidy's the bad guy. But hey, yeah, I see that there are a couple new people, uh, whoops, in our chat. Uh, so welcome. Um, yes, beyond belief, I promise more videos are coming soon. We just have a whole lot of stuff uh, to currently talk about. So so it's it's been a little slightly postponed, but it's we're going to get there. Like I was saying, I want to do some bigger videos uh, recently. Um, but there are definitely going to be lots of Beyond Belief. I love covering Beyond Belief. Oh man, okay. Um, Shoot! Fire in the hole! Okay, so I died another time. Let's see. Let's go. Working this way seems to be better for my brain. Let's try that. This is probably wrong, but oh well. Just gonna keep trying until we get it right. Okay, ooh, 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 good, good, good. This looks good, this looks good, this is promising. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted, but now there's a problem because... Oh no, 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 no. Maybe kind of still is a problem. Uh. Hmm. No, that's not going to work. Damn it. When I when I catch on, oops! Right at the end. By my count, which could be wrong, I have died ten different times in this one game, and I'll keep my count as we go through the other games. But ten times, all because of the bombs.
the good news is, I only have... I'll probably die again. So I won't feel so silly for missing out so close to it the last... So close to winning that last time. I did it. I did it. I did it. I didn't see that coming. Mission accomplished. True to form, Cassidy barely blinked an eye when I walked into the reception area after defusing his last bomb. He just sighed, stood up, and put his hands out so the police officer beside me could handcuff him. <laughs> his last words to me, his only words to me, were... Well, Nancy, so much for fighting the power. So I still don't know if he knew that the Redondo Board of Directors had given him a big fat promotion. It would have been just like Nick not to tell him. Although between his infatuation with Jasmine and the pleasure he obviously took in sticking it to the establishment, I kind of think Cassidy would have chosen being a mad bomber over being guest services manager no, anyway. I don't like this and believe it or not, ever since the trial, the Redondo has been filled to capacity. I guess it's true what they say. Any publicity is good publicity, as long as they spell your name right. Speaking of which, even I got some publicity in the Tinsel Town Tattler. Lucky they referred to me as the teenage sleuth who solved the bombings, the bombings in between, between a few, a few much-needed much needed much needed procedures. procedures. I thought it was kind of funny, but my friend Bess Marvin says I should sue. <laughs> but I can't do that. After all, they spelled my name right. The end. Well, that was that was that. We have. Oh, hang on. Oh, this is a trailer for a game that doesn't. When exist. a recently renovated cruise ship invites me on a sneak peek passage, I immediately came. say yes. I mean, spending a couple of days aboard an antique luxury liner—how fun is that? But as soon as we leave port, it becomes apparent this is not your ordinary cruise ship ghostly faces at portholes, eerie lights in the dead of night, people vanishing into thin air, things quickly go from slightly weird to downright scary. Help me figure out why, in my next case, Ship of Shadows. I'm disappointed. I would have liked to see what that game would have looked like. Damn it, look at this. Special credits locked. Become an ultimate sleuth to view the special credits. This is bullshit. Look at how close I got. But, either way... That's the end of that game. Thank you guys for being here. It is 2.02 in the morning where I am. And I appreciate all of you being with me. That will never come out. I know, right? Her Interactive, release it from the vault. I know you never finished it, but still, I'll, I'll play it if you release it now. I am excited for game 34, though. That's the main thing I'm excited about. Um, but thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for donating. We have raised $428. Uh, I wonder if we could get some of the... Uh, I wonder if I post this on the community tab that if we hit 500, we'll do the Sailor Moon stream on Tuesday. If we can get some of the Sailor Moon... If some of the Sailor Moon fans would... Uh, hear about it and uh help us reach that goal i'll post it we'll see if anybody's interested if we have any takers but anyway thank you guys so much for being here uh thank you uh, as always for watching and supporting and supporting the cause and just supporting the channel it means a lot so thank you guys so much uh i will see you tomorrow for our uh, next installment of Kingdom Hearts. For those of you who are new, we're on Kingdom Hearts 2. Maddie will be joining me. Um, and yeah, thank you guys. I think I will let you go after six hours on stream. <laughs> but uh, stay safe out there. Thank you and welcome to those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, and uh, thank you to all of you, whether you're new or have uh, been here for years. Um, I appreciate you being a part of the community. I appreciate our mods for helping to keep our community safe. Um, 
And yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.